What's up, y'all? It is episode 11 in the Cocktail Lounge. Sean Patrick Nolan in the house. We are just a, just a pair tonight. We decided uh, we had too much going on this week. We did not need the yeah. full panel. We're going to do it on our own. We're going to win on our own. So, Amen. Sean, what are we doing? Amen. What are we doing tonight? Penn National. We are Penn National bound tonight, my friend. On a Let's sloppy, on a sloppy, but hopefully successful night. Exactly. Yeah, and I guess we're going to pick it up in race three, and there's only seven on the card tonight, so races three yep. through seven. Yep. Uh, throw your bets in. If you're doing a late pick five, I don't. I, I assume there's a late pick five. I haven't even – yep, there is a, a late pick five. Uh, yep. yep. Got a bet for this race? Go ahead and drop it in there. I know we're jumping in early, so there's probably not a whole lot of uh, people on yet, which is just fine because we're just getting our bearings here. Absolutely. Uh, well, as always, join us. Absolutely, we, we'll get them all. Uh, we'll get the. If you're on chat, if you're on uh, YouTube, jump in the chat. Tell us what you're betting. We will take it into consideration when we make our official bets. So, if you're uh, joining the lounge for the first time, what we do is we have a fifty dollar bankroll, in which nine out of eleven times we have come out ahead, and we're going to continue that tonight, right, Sean? Yes, absolutely. Full steam ahead. And with that fifty dollar bankroll, we generally try to go around 10 bucks average per race as a spend because in this case we have five races to cover races three through seven at penn national and we're gonna yes, crunch please. please check in in the chat say what's up we want to know what you're here we want to know your opinions we want to know everything um so let's take a look at race three sean what anything sticking out for you at, at first here because i have i'm gonna pull the live odds up sure and, uh, yeah, well, obviously, and, and to no surprise here, um, having having uh, been known with Woodbine, Steve Chirkop, when this man comes down from Woodbine to Penn National, this man means business. <laughs> last year, he was a, he was a tour de here. force. He was a tour de force last year. He, like, he could not lose. And right now, he's at eight starters, three wins, two seconds. He knows where to place them, especially on the dirt coming off the, the poly track. And so far, the public at one to nine is definitely in agreement with his horses. I, The question I have here is, is the rest of the field this bad or is he that good? And, and you know what I'm saying? In, in terms of uh, and um, obviously with the way Steve uh, knows how to place him. I, yeah, I, he was my number one pick for sure. And we are looking at the Nine Horse All Time Classic again. That's Stephen Shercock, uh, Shercock rather, and uh, Julio Hernandez on board. Uh, looking at just the the raw numbers, I do think there is a horse here who, and actually, it's a scratch. I liked the eight. I was going to say I liked the eight a little bit as an upset. Special yeah, I, I did too. I did too. Yeah. Uh, so other than that, now we can see why it's one to nine. I don't think. Uh, I don't think it, the favoritism is going to come off of him. So I guess no. we'll start looking looking down the list a little bit to um, find a price that might make sense here. Let's yeah, say what's up to the people in the chat a little bit. Yeah, how are we doing? By the way, drop your Tour de Force questions if you're playing for the first time or uh, have any questions, if, even if you've played before. Uh, yeah, we'll answer any questions on the Tour de Force tonight. It starts this weekend, Saturday at Fairgrounds. Yeah. Uh, over 110 people probably gonna end yeah, up around. Kudos one, to you, my man. Kudos to you. 110. A lot of headaches. A lot of getting ripped by Ed DeRosa today about promoting it too much. But hey, we're building <laughs> that, a we're building an empire one. here. It's it's Ed's birthday, so happy birthday! And and, and if he and if he rips it, it's a compliment. So and Ed's in it. And Ed is uh, registered twice, so that tells you what he really thinks. He's making fun, but he's, he's in it, so he's in it to win it. Exactly. Justin wants to know how he gets his picks in. Justin, you should have an email. If you don't have an email uh, in your um, email box, check spam folders or whatever else. But, yeah, you should have got an email with all the explanation. If you haven't, uh, DM me on Twitter, and we'll get that worked out real quick. Or uh, trustaprofits at gmail.com. Right. What's up, hey, Tom, Tom? How much time do we have here? Do we know? Probably yeah. about eight minutes or something. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we actually have. Uh, let me check here. The exact count is nine minutes to go, and Penn National is pretty on time. So I, I would say about like ten minutes to go. 
Before That's going to take a little getting used to being on time two years. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes, absolutely. After playing Chuck Town. We love Chuck Town, but they do not. No, uh, they do not know how to run on time. Yep. They will be late for their own funerals. So, absolutely. no doubt. And here's a ticker across the bottom. This is a running bankroll. Fifty dollars start starting point tonight. Fifty dollars is the current bankroll. Obviously, there's been no official bets yet, but we'll keep that updated through the night here. I will say an interesting thing: um, the one, um, the two, excuse me, who is um, asked the umpire is five to one, right? And the one race he did run in the slop was not very good at all. Um, but interesting when you look at the doubles and the and the and the pick threes, the nine is eight, the two is 12 in the pick three, and then the daily double, I mean, in the pick three, it's $11 versus 14. So interesting uh, that the, for a one to nine shot, is numbers are not that much further than the two, which is interesting. Yeah, I actually have the two ranked as my second choice here. We'll get into that yeah. here in a minute. Uh, Nolan Rogers asking a good question. Is the tour still open? I actually extended the registration today because I had a few people wanting to get in at the last minute. So uh, if you're on Twitter, Nolan, I'm pretty sure you are. Yeah. Uh, send me a DM and check out my uh, check out my Twitter. I, I tweeted it out a few times. Say there's links there to, to get set up. Otherwise, as soon as this live goes off, I'll get you hooked up. But yeah, we're going to keep it open till uh, like 11 tonight. Yep. Two Nolans in the tournament. Yo, Ryan in the house. RG in the house. Welcome aboard. Uh, let's see. He's getting ready for business. Each and every oh, stride in the house. He's been in the lounge a few times. We need your opinions here, guys. How are you betting this first one? Because with a heavy favorite like this, one to five currently with seven minutes to post. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's, there's slop. Scratches. it's very sloppy out there. Very sloppy. Tom got excited when I saw Beverly Park running. That's a legend, Beverly Park. I chucked down tonight only to find out we're doing Penn National. Sorry for the disappointment. Yeah. And here's why, Tom, if I'm being honest. We're trying to get a little earlier in the evening Yep. Uh, to, to see how that works as far as uh, more or less traffic. If it doesn't change the traffic, you know, it, we'll go with whatever track we feel is the best. But we're trying a little earlier, a little later. Yeah. And, uh, you know. See how it yeah, goes. And yeah, Chuck Town, Beverly Park just hammered. I mean, Beverly Park's going to be one to nine, right? Oh, of yeah, absolutely. A thousand races. Absolutely. Post time at Chuck Town means we get the yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know. Look at this. Dennis Trusty checking in, taking shots at my Grateful Dead. Wow. Team. This is coming wow. from a guy who looks like he hasn't, you know, he's pulling stuff out of a homeless museum. <laughs> to wear on a daily basis. Did Dennis oh, I'd make fun team. of me. I'm old. Did Dennis put in the team? No, he doesn't have the balls to do it. That's the Come thing. Come on, Dennis. It. He's out Come here on, selling Dennis. picks, but he doesn't have the balls to compete for fifty bucks. I think everyone, everyone should send Dennis five bucks and just is that and say and just put the put the damn team in. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather him not. You know, I don't think yeah. I don't want him him exactly. to embarrass himself. It's fine. Yep. Yeah. And what? Well, in all fairness, though, he does have to save his money for the guaranteed. Uh, satisfaction. Yeah, absolutely, sure. yeah. We'll, we will get into that tonight <laughs> later. If you do bet along with us, what Sean's getting at is if you do bet along with us tonight live yep. and you lose at any point, yep. Dennis underscore trusty, yep. Uh, at Dennis underscore trusty on uh, Twitter, he will reimburse you for all of your bets plus 20% tonight. You got a 20% discount going from Dennis. Yep, yep, yep. You get 20%. Yep, can't beat that. Thank you, Tom. Throw out some bets. We haven't seen anything yet. I'm, yeah, I'm no, taking no. the first we race here, race thing, three. Man. Yeah. Race three no. here. Uh, four minutes to post, according to the watch here. Yes. Yeah. And yep. we got four minutes to post. The two is seven to two. Just give people a little bit of an odds uh, update here. The nine is up to two to five. And the uh, the uh, 12 is scratch. Okay. So we... Uh, um, Man, I love that eight. I love that eight at the morning line. He's out. So all time classic. Yep. Now the nine is up to two to five for a bargain. Right. Yep. And the four um, is getting a little love there at eleven to one. The first timer. Let's get crazy. Is getting a little bit of love here. 
with Eddie Rodriguez, who is four for 96 on the year. But Sean, if you take a look at the probables, yep. the exact the probables for a buck, if you look at the yep. nine horse on top, which is clearly everybody's choice and the, the logical yep. choice, sure. the payback on nine to nine over the two exact is three bucks. Yep. The second lowest one is 12 bucks. And we right. both agree that the two is clearly the second choice here. Yes, I agree. So in my opinion, you either hammer that nine two straight exacta for like ten bucks straight. Yeah. Or you go nine all exacta for like a seven dollar bet and uh, hope, and the hope the that a bomb comes up. underneath. Yeah, exactly. Nope. And then hope the two backs up. Because certainly in his first in his first race and on the on the slop, he definitely backed up pretty severely. Because um, I don't trust underneath. I guess I guess the four is the third choice for me. Where are you at on the third and fourth choice? Yeah, that that was my the four was my third choice. I was I was I was uh, nine uh, two four, and I don't if if anyone else four? runs a a race here. I I did see early money on the on the um, seven, like there was some early 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 money. Um, is that, and then that could have been very small pools, but at least this horse um, had run. Um, he had run against Ask the Umpire at thirty to thirty-three to one, and uh, so at least I did see early money on that horse. And he's out of VE Day, but that's not really uh, yeah, money this, pedigree. This you know, nine-two so. straight exacta is only going to pay three bucks. That's barely worth. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even even if you slammed it for ten bucks, you get you get a return of thirty, and that's yeah, yeah, that's that's not great, you know. I think it, we got to kind of maybe either just and you can't bet the nine; it's not one to two now, so maybe it's coming up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. watch this close with only two minutes left. This is a uh, kind of the thought process I go through anyway is to, to try yeah, to find yeah, some absolutely. value. Yeah, and, and it's important. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if it'll get more, much more than three bucks for that straight exacta, but I don't see how to bet this race otherwise, uh, unless you're gonna gamble yeah. with the nine with the all underneath. One one thing I will price. say, I, I I will definitely say this: Ferris Allen, who is a, a you know um, what do you call it? Uh, he's bringing in this eleven. I, I'm I, and I'm interesting from Laurel. Um, ran at, he's been working at. Laurel uh, worked out at, um, at ran an aqueduct. He didn't run at all, but I mean, he literally gave way. But at least he was running against like legit seventy thousand dollar <laughs> maidens. You know, um, he's getting some play at nine to one. Uh, now he's down to six to one. So someone has all someone right. is definitely bringing it on the eleven late here. All time classic is now at four to five. So let's yeah. let's do this. I got to make a decision. For the kids sure. at home. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm going to put it in the official bets here because that's what we have to yep. do. Sure. I'm going to do a. Four dollar exacta. The four dollar yep. exacta. It's going to be nine. With the two, four, and 11. I love it. Yep. So that is a $12 bet, right? Let me see. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. And they get, they're going into the gate. Yeah. They're right on time. And let us know who you guys like throughout the night, you know, because that's a very important, important factor. And to answer your question, Marla, sorry to be late on that answer, but we are at Hi, Penn National. Penn National tonight, not um, not Charlestown. Switching it up a bit, so sorry for the late notice on that. Trusty here, what's Trusty on? He likes the well, two have, with the four or five, and the, I like the two. We both like the two, and two's actually no. almost down to uh, even favoritism on, with the nine here. So that that bodes yeah, well that, for our yeah, late player. money here on the two. I don't see how you fade the nine on top. And, uh, no, no, exactly. I mean, this is a pretty unbalanced race as far as the top two being superior. That, Dennis, that bet is, is is for here, right? Not Turfway, I hope. <laughs> yeah, Dennis tends to bring Turfway in. 
Uh, Dennis says, if the nine doesn't fire, he will. Yeah, I agree. If the, if the nine doesn't fire, your bet is probably, you know, most likely money here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, exactly. They're, they're, so here's the official bet, ladies and gentlemen. It's a $4 exact, which the total bet cost is actually 12 bucks. Yep, so, yep. And that nine again yep. with the, this is a. And they're off. It's a key. Someone just missed the break. And uh, um, going out for the lead here is it's hard to see a little bit with the thing. And that is the two who is going out with the, and the nine is right behind them. So it's the two and the 10 ding dong and the nine right out in front, right, uh, right behind them sitting on a stocking trip. We got the, and we, who we got there in the back. We got the 11 sitting right behind them. The four has taken over the lead. Let's get crazy. Coming around the far turn and the nine moving up smartly on the outside with Julio Hernandez. The two seems to be retreating a bit. Down the stretch we come. The four still leading. The nine, Julio trying to get up on the outside. Down the stretch they come. It's four. Nine still trying to get by him down the stretch. Here they come. Nine is still on top. Not four is battling back. Will not give up. And here's the wire. And it's four, nine, 11. Nine, two, Ooh. four, nine, two, 11. Ugh. So we had to say we had the four correct horses. We had the we nine, with the, uh, yeah. two, four, 11. But man, the four getting you home at nine to one if you liked them. I know, huh? Alberto Rodriguez. We both had it nine two four in that order, and it came the yep. opposite. So we missed a little opportunity there, but yeah, it was hard to box that race with that type of favoritism on on top. But if you did, if you were smart enough to box that, yeah, man, yeah, nice. And the, by the way, the nine good? was. I'm surprised the nine didn't have enough to get there at the end because he was. It looked good for a minute. Oh my gosh! I can't believe what they it the it came in four nine right. Four nine two, yeah. Oh, seventy-four dollar exacta. How is that possible? Yeah. Wow, that's a two dollar exacta. Yeah, thirty-seven on the buck. Yeah, but thirty-seven still, yeah. on the dollar. Wow. Did anybody hit that one? Let's see what everybody yeah, said. Here. Yeah. Dennis had the two on top, so like us, he missed with the top horse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I had a feeling that two would fade. Yeah. Asking about the tourney key box. Oh, yeah. Welcome aboard yeah. here. Um. Look at trustee at trustee profits on Twitter. If you have Twitter, if not, stick around for a minute. And uh, after we're done here, you know, we'll talk. We can uh, get get on email or, or some kind of chat wherever you're at and get you get you set up. But basically, it's uh, 25 races, including the Triple Crown. That's how it ends uh, with yeah. the the Derby, Preakness, and Belmont, obviously. But the 22 races leading up to the to the derbies, to the derby. So the you got the all the preps, including you know Florida, Santa Anita, you know you got the um, Arkansas, all the classes throughout the whole throughout the whole prep season, including starting this weekend Saturday at Fairgrounds in in uh, New Orleans. The LeCompte Stakes is the first round, so that's the official kickoff here. So yes. we are ready to rock, and this is the first one that counts toward the Tour de Force, and we have over a hundred. I think we're. Getting close to like 115 at this point because I'm that, saying that's amazing. Amazing. Actively seeing a few people signing up here in the background, trying to focus in, but trying to make sure everybody's taken care of on that too, because people are sending me money to for their entry fees, and I just want to make sure that everybody's uh understanding how to do it. But it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it, it's a real simple process. Sure, sure. An exciting one, too. Very exciting. Yeah, you get bragging rights, you get to beat up on uh yeah, some of the absolutely. bigger names in the industry. Once you see that, once you see that um, leaderboard, you're going to see some bigger names in the industry. Yep. Yeah. Including, well, never mind. Trusty's not in it. Oh. <laughs> Again, doesn't have the balls to do it. It's the all Mount good. Rushmore of 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 uh, horse racing, not involved in the Tour de Force. That's, oh yeah, uh, just a uh, legend in the game. Uh. So key box to to finish that statement. Trust the profits at gmail.com for an email. If uh, if you need some instruction, I'll get you hooked up, brother. Absolutely. Brother or sister. Shouldn't assume you're a male, although most horse racing fans are. 
Not true, actually. With uh, with a lot of our, we've we found that we've got no. We got them. Marla. We got Cindy. We got we got we got some excellent lady handicappers on the show. I didn't say the handicappers. I was talking about yeah, just no, no, yeah, lurkers. Oh, yeah. The handicappers yeah. is actually probably close to 50-50 on that deal. Yeah, exactly. We got Sarah in there. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's do it. Race four, race three. So I'm going to update the bankroll. I lost 12 bucks for us, Sean. I put us in a little deficit here. No okay. worries. We've been here before. Yeah, absolutely. And that was great handicapping. You had all three. You had the, you had the yeah, perfect. You had should the have perfect. boxed them, but that box was going to, I didn't feel like, I mean, we had the, we had the try box. If we yeah. were done it, I'm sure that try would have paid. Decent and I think money. if we went nine, we would have been even more like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So here's how it works. Sean will be yep. uh, the final answer in the next race, race four. Again, yep. we're doing race 10 national tonight. Yep. There's the update of bankroll. We started with 50. Now we're at 38. And when that money is gone, we are done, baby. So we are going right. to make some of that back. Um, and, for the, and for the first time tonight, a very unusual sighting here at Penn National, Ruben Silvera making the trip Legend. over from, from, from Philadelphia. Got a legend of the game out here. Exactly. Making the trip for Jamie Ness. Tom says he had the four. Yeah. You didn't catch it in time when I noted, but the four is the fourth first time. Yep. Let's 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 take a look back. Give give it credit where it's due here. Yeah. He did say it. This is before the wow. race. Wow. Tom, that's a that oh, nice hit, baby. Impressive. Hopefully you cashed on that deal. Yeah, man. Well done. Did you bet it straight, or did you do a, a, some kind of exact or try with them, or how'd you do that? Just curious. Yeah, exactly. Well done, Tom. Well done. Trusty. I will get to that in a few minutes here. Let's uh, let Sean start. Let's let's start talking about race four. Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm assuming we have about twenty minutes since the other one just yeah, finished. Yeah, I will give you the exact post time. We have twenty two minutes, and 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 for the people, Penn National's pretty on time with their. Post. So that's about that is about a legit 22. And no surprise here, we have Ruben Severa and Jamie Ness at one to five. Yeah, that's probably not. I hope they're not all like this tonight because it makes it makes right. it pretty difficult to to bet with a right. severe favorite right. like that. Either got to fade or just jam. Right. Um, and it, what makes it even harder is that the four is out, which is uh, which makes the race even. Uh, you know. Uh, a little bit easier, but I am. I uh, my number one pick was Lord Winslot, the seven, uh, with Angel Rodriguez and Timothy Chrysler. Um, Angel does a fabulous job for Chrysler, and he's got was he 15, 9, and six in 50, 50 mounts, so he, he, can, he can get the horses in the into the uh thing. Um, and you look at his uh, his off record four for four in the wet. Um, is run against better uh, one here as one here at Penn, which I think is key. I think a mile will, will be just the one he needs and uh, hasn't been in great form, but at the same time, um, it, Angel, he takes over and uh, he's had great success for him. He's five for 19 in the meet. He's riding great. And I think in the slop, speed, 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 and that's what he has. And the one has to come get him. Maybe a little tough to get, you know. So I, I was, I was in this race seven, one, eight. But is the eight in the race? The eight was scratched. So yeah, exactly. I didn't think so. So ten would be my seven, one, ten is how I'm looking at it. I like the ten a little bit too. Um, I'm not looking at the odds right now. I'm intentionally dodging that for a minute here because I hate skewing everything I do about you know the. Odds, especially being this far out, because it's going to change quite a bit. But sure, yeah. Uh, Marlo's asking, where are we streaming this at? I'm on TVG personally. I don't know or uh, FanDuel, but um, I'm not sure. I think I think they stream from their site. They do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, find Penn National's website, Marlo. You might be able to catch it there. I don't know what's. Uh, yeah. Yes, like often a, often the race tracks have where you can go on live and see the races live. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Tom said he bet that that horse straight. He only likes 
to need one thing to go right with your wagers. That is hey, a smart approach, bro. That I'm is serious. a really that that's my approach, Tom. Exactly. Very rarely will you see me going exact. And I mean, like I, I do play them, but I'm just saying if I like a horse, I'm just I just need that horse to win and that horse alone. Especially if you like a horse that's getting nine to one like that four was right there. So yo, that what a tremendous pay. Yeah. All okay. right, so my top three, without looking at the odds, I have the sure. one on top with the nine yep. and ten. So I think two yep. of our top three were matching there. And it's yep. pretty I, – I think it's pretty close. I had the eight third, but he scratched out, you said. Yep. Uh, I didn't like the seven as much, but I did have the seven fourth best here. So I, he's in the mix, obviously, for me. And the seven is going to be up on the pace in the mud, which helps him for sure. Absolutely. Interesting if you look at the doubles, the seven is the is the big favorite. The one is second at 47. And it's third favorite. The nine is the second favorite at at $42. If you go out to the pick four, they now this is interesting. You go to the pick four, however, the one is the prohibitive favorite at 387. The seven is at 663, and the nine is at eleven thirty-two. So someone in the double really liked the like the seven, but in the pick four, the clear favorite is the one. Drop in your uh, drop in your pick fours if you're playing one. I'm considering playing one here. Yeah. I think you can build a real cheap pick four ticket, and then I'll post it if I end up doing it. I'm debating it now. Just sure. See yeah. How this first leg works out? There's only four races left, so. Yeah, for some reason my uh, TVG or uh, FanDuel TVG has dropped out now, so I'm no, losing geez. my freaking mind here. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. But we'll get her done. Yeah, it's pouring here, but but it's, hopefully that will, that won't exactly. So I'm trying to see some exactts here. It's, I don't think it's going to be too good. Yeah, take a look. One. At Sean's going to control the bets for race five or race four here. Yeah. So. And yeah. By the way, I, I kind of skipped over it because we were busy when he sent this thing through. But Dennis Trusty is offered to go fifty percent back. On wow, fifty percent back. That is that is, and it's not even the holiday season. That is more than generous. So if you bet with the first twelve dollar bet and you lost, yep, Dennis is going to send you eighteen bucks back. All you yep. got to do is. At Dennis underscore trusty on Twitter, he will send you yep. cash back, Venmo, I mean, you Cash that. App, PayPal, it don't matter. Yep. Nope. He will send it to you. Just give him the address, he will send it to you. He might even send you a bonus. The kid's made of money. Yep. Love it. Yep. Love to see it. All right. Justin Jinko or Ginko, you got to tell me that because I've seen your name a lot and we we're yeah, going to be exactly. talking here in a little while. 45%. I hate to mispronounce. Claim. Yeah. Yeah. That's. That was my third horse. Yeah, that was my third horse. And I, exactly. It definitely had some interest in him. You know? horse as well. So, yeah, I think if you're going to play some kind of exotic bet, you have to, right? I mean, you have to put the 10 in. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, exactly. I think that is a must. Thanks again, Dennis. You are just a parlor, <laughs> a pillar, not a parlor, a pillar to the community of horse racing. Just an Absolutely. absolute gem. If you're doing a pick four, late pick four here, you should be able to put together a fairly cheap ticket. I mean, uh, race six especially is a very short field. Yep. And if you like, I mean, I see I see one deep race and then three where you can go pretty narrow. Yep. And again, Absolutely. it could be right or wrong, but right now, club man number one, two to five on the, on the, uh, five. Yep. Time. On the board. I don't think he's going to yep. be. According to what we're talking about with the horizontals, he's not going to be that heavy of a favorite, I don't think. So, no, I I, I do think that the, the Silvera sighting definitely will will uh, take some money. You know, yep, and that that will definitely factor into the equation. Dennis asks a good question: What is how deep is the tour payout? Um, we were at 112, I believe, when I signed in here a half hour yep. ago. And we're going to be looking at about 12 positions paid. About 10% of the field will get it back. So, yeah. Uh, and I believe it's going to be at least 1,200 to win. And all the way down to whatever the bottom position is that we uh, pay out will be 
at least a hundred bucks. So even if you get say 10th or 12th position, whatever it ends up being, depending on how many entries, you'll at least double your money. Plus yeah, each yeah. round, there's 25 rounds. The top score for each round gets a $25 bonus too. So all you got to do is win, win a round or two and get your money back. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully that answers some questions. Shoddy yeah. in the house. What up? Shoddy. Welcome aboard. Drop oh, your right bets yeah. in here. We need some help. We're down absolutely. 12 bucks early here after race three. Yep. Sean's going to get us back right here for race four. Yes, we are. Let's do and it. I'm going to do just a simple. If this stays the way it does, I may just do the simple exact the box one seven. <laughs> and hope the seven, you know, beats the beats the beats the one. You looking at boxing it or straighten it out? Yeah, I mean, boxing it, you know, boxing it. Because the interesting thing right now is that the um if you look at the probables, the one yeah, eight, look at that. Wow. Seven eight, to one seven, and, right? and the and the sevens eight, you know, and so <laughs> you know, not a bad, not a bad box. The the nine horse is definitely uh nine horse is getting some play here. Um, uh, I think it's it's, it's interesting. Salgado. Now, if you it, this is what I like too. If you if you're a nine fan, right? If you're the nine, if you're a fan of the nine. I am a fan of the nine. I got him second second best. Right, so. Yeah, exactly. So the interesting thing in Salgado has done well for Alicia Perez, you know. So that that is definitely a um, a a strong move. The interesting thing is though, the last was it through the last time he's coming second and first and third, he's hit the board. Um, our our boy uh, on the seven, Angel Rodriguez, was riding. So Angel has moved over to the seven, which I think is a, a very promising thing for him here. And he's got speed, which I think is on a sloppy track at Penn National can be pretty darn good, you know. So yeah, I'm just I'm a, I'm intrigued by your uh, one seven exact a box just because I'm surprised that based on the odds right now at how balanced it's paying. In either direction, really close. Yeah, to I, I thought it'd be oh, like three. One is not going to go off at at uh, two to five. No, no, no. And then somebody went and heaped a grand down there in, in the small pools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At a smaller exactly. track like Penn National, is it moves the needle? Yeah, we all know about like the needle. There. Let us know who you're liking out there, guys. You know, because that can we any angles, Tom. If you have any, uh, obviously the ten off the claim, forty five percent off the claim. You can never. You know, that's a that's a solid, solid number, you know? Yeah, I got, again, I like the nine a lot too, but if there's going to be an upset special, let's see, mm. what do we have? Everybody drop your uh, drop your bets in here. Shotty's yeah, coming in with the eight, ten, one box, exact Ooh, a box. That's a very solid one, yeah. Uh, yeah. The eight's out, Shotty. Eight's, yeah. I had the, I had the eight involved too, Shotty. Yeah, eight I did is too. Out, so. yeah, I like the eight. Date was there very Get live. That one out, pick a third horse if you're still looking at that type of bet. But yeah, uh, Sean's on the seven. I have the seven fourth best. I like the one nine ten seven, and Sean yeah. likes the one seven exacta. Yeah, uh, let's see. You got about ten minutes. Guys, we got some yeah. time. No rush. Let me see. Here we go. I'm looking at a pick four. Yeah, yeah, and I will yeah. post it if I end up doing it. Yeah, very. So the the one is at one to two right now currently, the, and the seven, seven is down to five to two. They're starting to balance off. We fully expect that. Um, yeah, based exactly. on based another on factor for me will be to see what the odds are with about two minutes, three minutes to you know, like if this will switch, you know, because the yep. seven at five to two to me is is very. Uh, appetizing, you know, but the yeah, uh, yeah, I get it. The one, uh, let's see, the one has the highest. I I feel like it has the highest ceiling. Like could could does. blow them out. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. But the yep. seven is gonna be. I think the seven's going to get to the front and in the mud. Who knows if the one can. Right. Although the, one, the one's through. high paced too, so it, those two might just run away. To be honest, yeah, so. that, exactly, exactly, and that's why I'm saying right now if that's exact. The stays, you know, 
and and right now it's down to five and 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 seven, which is still still solid. You know, I was expecting it to be three and four, to be honest with you, and it, and it could still be. You know, yes. The thing is, the yes, thing yes. that gets me is that the the exactly and the the and you very rarely see this in the race is that the the daily double is is strongly for the seven. But the pick four is very strong for the one, you know. So <laughs> we got a we got a little interesting uh, betting mixture going on here between these two, you know. So let me ask you this one, Sean. Yeah, mm -hmm. Can we skip ahead to race six because I'm building a pick four ticket real quick. Yes. Race six. Yes, sir. Who do you like in in race six between the two and the six, which I think are the clear choices? I'm yeah. trying to find a yeah. single here. Uh, the one I scratched single, out, which yeah. is going to be uh, also a factor, but. Yeah, Shardiel, yeah, with for, for guys uh coming in from yeah, Peter Miller. Um exactly morning line that. choice is the six, but I kind of am leaning toward the two a little bit. Sure. I'm trying to yeah. find a single so I can make I don't want to bet this pick four without a single. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then the six, yeah, a little on, on two phones. Yeah, I mean that that horse, if this horse runs that race, the Carol and and um, I don't know if anyone saw last night at uh, Penn National, but Moon Warrior, the horse that beat um, Lily Two Phones last night with Tyler Connor, won at seven to one in the slot, uh, very convincingly. So the fact that it, you a ran a big race, Carol almost won, and the fact that the horse beat him came back and won again, I think that's a, a definitely a strong factor in the sixes uh, sixes favor. So you can't find a single between those two. You think you got to go with both? It's all well, right. I, I don't just... know. See, the, the the thing I always think is a horse coming from the West Coast doesn't ever really train, and and, and he hasn't had to work in the mud, you know. So I mean, <laughs> he was based out in the West Coast, and uh, doesn't really show. I mean, obviously, he's shown some nice works at the two times he's been at the at the track but david geist is two for 32 you know now getting rodriguez to ride it i think is a very positive sign but i'm just saying if i had to go for one of the two i would go for the consistent that i know versus the one i don't you know and i think the only way to make this ticket to work is the single either race six or race four which race four coming up here i'm not super confident in uh singling i guess if i had to i would single the yeah. one but yeah, if this was a dry track, close. if this was a dry track, I would definitely, you know, to say the one would be a single. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't think there's any uh, 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 question about that. But with the slop, it does. Uh, I mean, that was a, a powerful. But again, in, in, in Philly, and, and you look at the purse here. It's 18. It was 28 in 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 Philly. You know. In parks, I mean, so clearly, the horse is. I mean, he's he's six for ten lifetime in the wet. Wet. I mean, his numbers just blow everybody away in terms of that. You know, my question is for him is again is if the seven gets out in the lead by himself, does he have the power tonight to catch them? You know, and you know. So I think you've answered my question. I don't think there's a single in this sequence. I mean, that you can no, it, it, really, it's really you can commit. I mean, it, it, and me, I have a ticket like, built right now that's 40 bucks with two of the, with both of those races, four and six, with neither of them singled. Yeah. I feel like two I could, two. I should say it again. I think it's two, two. Like, like, like if, if, if I had to, if I was doing the, I would, I would do the two and the two, you know? See if I can trim back a little bit. So we have five minutes to post. Yeah, and the the betting public is now Clubman is seven to five now. Now they're about even between the one and the seven, which we kind of expected. Yeah, because exactly. of that, uh, the exact. I think this exact bet you were talking makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go five dollar exact the box one seven. Let them duke it out. That's 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 my they punch it in. Yep, yep. That's what I'm gonna do because I, I I just I I do like the. Uh, the, the nine and the ten, uh, I mean, is an interesting. What are the now? This is interesting. What are the props on the ten? Because I just want to see, like, in terms of ten one. 
Just, just before we, I'm just seeing here if we, if we can. I mean, did not, not uh, send yeah, it. Yeah, not yet. Just exactly. I'm almost, almost there because I just want to see, which would be interesting for our, for our betting public. You need to yell shotties on the ten one seven box. Yeah, there you go, shotty. Eight out for the scratch. Marla's exactly. going on the nine. Exactly. Yeah, makes exactly. sense as well because the nine is going to be at it. Well, it's down to seven to two, right, right about where we thought. Let's we'll see if uh, the one seven comes. If if we box, this is my theory. If we box the one seven ten, if the ten gets in there, obviously it, it's it's a big you know it's a big uh, hit and the you know and um, but if the but if it's if the one wins and then we're just making our money back on the twelve dollar you know, if it's like one seven then you're just basically breaking even, you know. Which is yeah. a which is a tough bet to do when you're, you know. Uh, so you think so, I think it's going to be one seven coming out and probably just blowing everybody's doors off completely because they're both high paced. They're both they're the yeah. two fastest. Not to say that an upset can't happen, but the nine and the ten are the next interesting horses for oh, sure. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Barbosa is riding the ten. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the ten to one morning line is now bet down to seven to two, yeah. so it's getting a lot of uh, public love. You know what I'm going to do? I'm I'm going to go with that and, and hope we get a, a price in one of them. You know, I'm going to do a two dollars exact the box one seven ten, exactly like Shotty. Oh, Marla's got Shotty. a win bet on the nine. I, yeah, Shotty Marla. is uh, directing. Yep, Sean's bet, which I happen to agree with hundred yeah. percent. By the way, yeah, I those like those are my three top there. picks. Those are my three top picks, Shotty. So, I if, like if we can get the in there ten well, in here, a little value. There's the official bet. It's a twelve dollar bet. Thanks everybody for jumping in. Yeah, thank you guys awesome. once again. Uh, Marla's got the nine. Do. I'm still trying to put this pick four. If you got a pick four, there you go. Indy's going pick four. Love. Let's put Indy's bet up here. This is interesting. He's got the one ten with the two eleven. Four, five, six, and then six, nine, ten. So, Andy, I'm going to be honest with you. We have about – we share about two-thirds, but there's a lot of differences too. So, uh, thanks for posting that. We'll go back to yeah. it if you are uh, alive yeah, later. No, in the best of luck, Andy. Hope, hope you hit. And I'm still trying to decide which one to single here. Damn it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm singling the one horse in this race here. I'm going with All Ruby. Right. Yeah. Yeah. $20. It's a $20 uh, pick four. And then what was it? Are we doing? We're doing the official one, uh, one seven ten, right? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Let's put that back and then we'll catch up with everybody. What's up? Colin Sheehan's in the house, baby. Colin Sheehan. Name with the boys. Formulas in the house. Everybody checking in. We've got a lot. Got a nice it. crowd in here. It's coming yeah, in. Great to see everybody. Thank you. Yeah, we're a little early tonight, so might have caught some yeah. people off guard. But Marla's getting a nice price on her nine at fourteen to one. Fifteen to one. Now it's climbing yeah. for you. Yeah, climbing. Yeah. yeah. So we got a one seven ten exact box. I'll pull, put it back up here. The official here. Uh, we're getting a lot of comments, so that's awesome. I'm. I'm Whenever I struggle to keep up with the comments, you know it's going pretty well here. So yeah, no, exactly. We, Thank you, everybody. Indy has that one ten. We talked about this pick four. I'm going to post my pick four real quick too. Yeah, sure. If anybody yeah. cares, but yes, Dennis, I received it. You're good, baby. We got this covered. Dennis is officially in the Tour de Force now. Well, so look out, Dennis. Probably uh, going to. Dennis is going to take a lot of people out of the tournament. They're going to want their money back because they don't want to face that type of competition. Yes, exactly. Because and, and, and as everybody knows, Dennis could go like one for twelve, but when he hits the one, it's bomb. a darn good hit. Exactly, and he could just knock people out with one shot. Exactly. He is going he, bombs, he, and you either want to be a part of it or you don't. Yep. Exactly. We're going into line here at Penn National Race 4. Good luck to everybody. Nine's going in. 
I'm just waiting for the 10. And there's my late pick four. <laughs> so yeah. in case well, anybody has time go. to do it, I got the one singled here, so I'll either live or die by that decision, I think. So let's go one. Seven down to eight to five. Good seven luck, everybody. This is race seven. four, Penn National. We're on Penn National all the way to the end. There's only seven races tonight, so let's get them covered. They're in the gate, and they're off. And it is the nine going out for the lead, the 10 right on his thing, and the two, uh, ATM Awesome all going for the lead. A little struggle on the lead there. It's the two taking control, the ATM Awesome, the nine right on the outside, Colonel Moorhead, the one sitting right on the rail comfortably third, the five, uh, Uncle Udy at 56 to one riding fourth, the 10 riding very comfortably on the outside event party, followed by the three, hold the Irish, and then the trailer right now is the seven, Lord Winslot. The half and twenty the quarter and twenty-four on the leisurely uh, pace up front. The two trying to take them wire to wire at 16 to 1. The nine, Colonel Moorhead trying to make a move. The one on the inside trying to get to them both. The five kind of dwelt in a little bit here. The 10 trying to make a move on the outside. Let's go, Ruby. Starting, Get starting to come around the turn here. The two still on top, maintaining that, maintaining that lead. The one trying to sneak up the rail. Around the turn they come. The one oh, trying Ruby. to get two still. ATM still trying to hold on there. The one. Clubman's trying to catch him down the Probably stretch they out. come. And it's the one trying to get the two. And it's one, two, five. All right. So my single survived uh, one, two, though. I didn't hear a whole lot of love on the two horse. I didn't hear that either. Yeah. It and might... run a nice race last time, too, in the slop. Absolutely, Marla. Thanks for joining. We do have a great group. It's been it's been uh, accelerating week to week. It's been fun. Everybody right. who's in here, uh, thanks again. We have uh, this is every Thursday night. It's either seven or eight p.m. We chose seven tonight. We're swapping it up for Penn National. Yeah. The Let's nice see. thing about Dennis, this too. Me and Indy yeah, both survived the first leg of the pick four, so we'll, we'll follow well up with done, that, guys. Well done. Uh, did anybody, if you hit that race there, I didn't catch anybody that loved that yeah. two. So that was, uh, what did that two? 16 to one. Yeah, so nice the, yeah. nice uh, cooler on the two there by Julio Hernandez on the mount. Absolutely. And that horse had run a decent race last time. Nice 30, $36 exacta for $2 if you got it, which is, can't And can't I had the that. two, to be honest with you, I had the two as the fifth choice there, so was not going to yeah. reach that far down in a... No. Horse field. And by the way, uh, Julio Hernandez is riding fantastic so far at Penn Nationals. He's definitely one to, to strongly consider going in, in the future. That was a great Nolan, ride. I'm glad to hear you found the link to the TDF, the Tour de Force. Uh, good to have you in. I will confirm everything after we get off offline here, which I, I guess is going to be around. Let me see what time. Uh, race 7 says... 8.43, so probably by 9 or 9.30 tonight, uh, Eastern Time. I'll start dropping you guys some uh, info if, you, if you're if not all set, but I think it sounds like most of you are figuring it out, so that's awesome. Yeah. I think we're going to be closer to 120 even, which is crazy. Yeah, that's amazing. One, one thing about that race, which I found totally perplexing, was the 7 was in the back. I thought for sure he would be the, the controlling yeah. speed. On the on, on the race, and he didn't even make it out of you know he was he, when, it, when I saw him in last. Uh oh, that's not a good sign for him, you know. A hundred percent. I I uh, looking at the numbers. I thought the one and seven would get out. Didn't know yeah. who might take command. I thought the seven might even take command and then just waltz. Just and the waltz seven right just chilling the back there. Yep. Yep. Maybe he's yep. uh you know still waiting for the the mud here. I don't know. It's early though. It's early. We're not the comeback kids for nothing, you know. We're late on this. The formula like the nine, ten to one. That did seem like a deal. That's where uh, yeah, Marla that's went. Marla like too. Nine yeah. end up. By the way. Where did the yeah. nine end up? I didn't. I don't remember the call on it. I know that two got up there and 
the nine was, everything up. The nine was battling with the two in the in the in the beginning. They they both really really uh, tried hard to get the lead. Yeah, and the one the one was uh, I, I got to be honest, I was not feeling confident on the one at the top of the stretch because he had a yeah, lot of work. No. To do, he got I thought done. the two had stolen it. Marla's playing yeah. loose. That's the only way to play. If you're if you're uh, if you're tight, Marla, on your money, you probably shouldn't. We love be it. I mean, we love just it pennies or whatever you got to do. But no, we know I love we know Marla. Marla's Marla's a pro. She knows what she's doing out here. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. She's throw great. down. If you if you actually hit that, by the way, I'm still getting back to the point. I don't think anybody in this group hit that. I hope somebody no. did. Unless yeah, you I, went, maybe you bet the one straight because that was such a heavy favorite early in the betting, and then yeah. it just became like a. Mm -hmm. Seven to five or whatever he went off at, but Dennis Trusty says he knows he's going down and he sucks. Come on, bro. You are you're a a legend of the game. What'd you say? A Mount Rushmore? Mount yep. Rushmore. Mount, Mount Rushmore. Yep. Yep. Mount Rushmore trusty. Yep. All Me right. and well, Justin, we played pick fours. I spent 20 bucks on the pick four. It might be a chalk festival and it might not even pay back, but I did go deep in two of the four races and then shallow in the other two. Yep. So we'll yep. All right. Exactly. Shoddy says, what happened to the seven? That's exactly what. Uh, that, that is a great to. question, Shoddy. That is a great question. Julio Hernandez is amazing for there. Is that an insult on uh, Penn National? He has been rolling, right, Sean? He Leo? really has, yeah. He's 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 done a really good start at Penn National. He's he's been he's been racking up the wins in seconds. Very very impressive there, Dennis. We'll get through this, baby. We got time after. We don't have to do all this live when there's you know millions of people around the world waiting on me. We'll get through it. I'll explain it. We'll get it cleaned up. All right, Marla. Next race, please. Exactly. Because we lost there too as a group, and we yep, are now yep. down to. I gotta update the the bankroll here, which yeah. Sucks. Short term memory though, short term memory, guys, 100%. is key. Exactly. The 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 past is behind us. The future's ahead, and the money's ahead for us. Exactly. We're down to twenty six bucks. We still got more than half our bankroll left. Three races to go, baby. We're going. Yep. And let's see. Hopefully, yep. there's not a big, enormous favorite this yeah, time. Exactly. Well, last last race ended up being. Uh, two enormous favorites, and then, then the rest. Exactly. So let's take a look. We are going into once again Penn National race five. Race yep. five. And right now, the favorite is the nine, keeping the pace for Danny Velasquez and Jonathan Ocasio at eight to five. Shoddy mentioned the two underneath, but didn't bet it. Damn it, Shoddy. That was a nice payout for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, huh? nobody else had it either, so we can't really can't really hate on you for that decision. No, exactly. Dennis said, "Yes, that is an insult to Penn National. Come on, bro. We gotta love it. We gotta love one another in this industry. Absolutely. The formula calling next. He knows. He knows you gotta have a short term memory here. Short term memory. Yep. Yep." Marla says, I usually don't bet myself. I'm betting tonight. That's scary. You know what, Marla? Let me tell you something. Whatever you lose tonight, yep. at Dennis underscore trusty. Just write him. On yep. Twitter. He's going to give you a value, 50% value back, whatever you lose. Yep. Send him your screenshot of your uh, betting slip. He is guaranteed to pay you back plus 50%. Yep. It's not even Christmas. Yep. It's amazing. See, here's what, look, look at what Dennis is doing. He's going into Charlestown now. This is what he does. I'm not even going to post it. You're going to confuse the people. He did it with Turfway Park. He can't say enough. Exactly. So now who is your top pick here, sir, in, in a race five, or do you want mine? It's my race to, to pick, right? So I'll, yeah. I'll hear you out first. I think that's the okay. probably the best call here. I have a, a interesting – Judging judging by what I'm seeing here on the early betting, but go ahead here. Let's let's yeah, go. yeah. Go ahead and my, give me your full full at least top four rundown. Yeah, my my uh my name's actually a little bit uh skewed here. Um <laughs> I the four was my was my top pick. All right, stop um, talking. Stop talking. Oh, 
because that's my top pick too. And that okay. is, uh, that's why I said I'm a little bit off the radar. That is, although it's it's only a four to one morning, but twelve to one on the live odds. So I was I was joking about stop talking, but yeah, I'm saying yeah. like that is, if it stays anywhere near uh, these odds. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, we're hammering yes. down, baby. All right, so yeah, go ahead. That is, that is a very smart solid ass. pick. Yeah, exactly. My smart ass got in the way. Go ahead. You know, no, no problem. No, I, I had four, then I had nine, then I had one, uh, and then I, uh, the ten, uh, and, uh, no, no, four. Excuse me, my apologies. I had four, nine, ten, one. This is what I had. I have four, nine, ten, eleven, one. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, so nine is the key. Nine's the heavy uh, betting choice right now. Again, it's early. We got eighteen minutes to post, roughly. So yep. we will yep. not be making a decision anytime soon. Throw your um, throw your uh, you know, your opinions and what you're thinking. Yeah, here. absolutely. The chat, yeah, we love hearing. Exactly. We need yeah. some help, baby. We are down. We are down, down twenty four bucks. Yep. Yep. We get, We're gonna we do it. We're gonna get it right back. back. Yep. Shoddy says Dennis has definitely gotten her some prices before, so that's good. All right. There you go. Back, Just kidding, Dennis. You know we. You know you're a, a crowd favorite. Absolutely. Wouldn't even address it if you if we didn't like you. No, heck no. Exactly. A legend. Andy's falling into the trap of Dennis. This is what Dennis. Is doing. <laughs> Lead him down the path of Charlestown. The Pied Piper, Dennis you know? the Pied Piper. They just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fall down the wrong track. Exactly. I can also thank Dennis for bringing me to this channel. See, you are worth, you are worth something, Dennis. You're, See, you're Dennis. See you, bro. That's why he's on Mount Rushmore, Sean. Exactly. He brings people to life. He's like, he's like GE. You know? Absolutely, yeah. So now I'm looking at hard through this race five. Let's see. We are. Yeah. Is it an eight horse field still, or was there any any scratches additionally? I did not see. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Is the, yeah, the, the scratches of the three and the eight. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like a nine, yep. horse, nine horse field yep. and five. So it's an eight horse field. The five is yeah. a scratch as well. So yes, absolutely. Hmm. We're looking at the bill page. One. I'm if you if the will pays are any indication, there are people that have really no clear <laughs> the double to read the doubles are eight, nine, twelve, fourteen, twenty, seventeen. I mean seventeen twenty. So that, that's and according to the according to the double will pays that ten is gonna be going off as the favorite here. Yeah, exactly. big surprise. Followed by the ten and eleven are going to be the betting choices, and the one. So our four is uh, fifth betting choice. Looks like according yeah, to yeah, that thing, yeah, Zach, and the pick, pick threes, threes, same thing, same thing. Yeah, yeah, which is interesting. Kind of like this four. Let me take a closer look. What are you guys yeah. thinking on race five? Yeah, we're what. Uh, let us know what you guys think there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, look at the. I know everyone will, especially after that last ride. Uh, what do you call it? Um, we got our boy uh, Hernandez back on the ten. You know, off uh, for for uh, Bonnie Lucas. You know, on the um, let's see what her. Yeah, two, two, and one in eleven starts for her. So obviously, she, he rides well for her, and definitely uh, the group at Delaware. Um, came in 14 3, ran a 12 5 in the slop. I'm just checking the 10. Why I was exactly Leo Band, definitely a a wet uh pedigree for sure. The 5,000 level seems to be his kind of his. Oh, Mar likes 4 9 10. Ooh. Solid. That's exact. That's my exact order, Marla. I Marla, I like that. I like that. That is a solid, solid play right there. Shoddy wondering if Dennis is a racing pimp. And then Dennis quickly responded back quite the opposite, which I would agree with Dennis's take on that. Quite yep. the opposite. Yep. Quite the opposite. Yep. 
Four nine ten, Marla. Let us know. Are you betting that as an exacto, tried, box, straight? Yeah, well, yeah. What, what are you doing, curious? Marla? That's a very solid play, my friend. I agree, but, especially the four. This it, the four is going to go off in the middle of the pack as far as uh, odds go, as it looks like. Yeah, yeah. And if that is the case, I mean, we might just keep things real simple. Yeah, I agree. I I couldn't agree more. The formula four rated high on our list according to the numbers and and uh not getting public love ag agreed yeah Put the wolf I, banger in there somewhere exactly four over the nine exact a box. To one, my gosh yeah four nine exact a box makes sense that will uh, help marla yeah marla yeah. threw in the 10 underneath two which is yeah, it, the way hernandez is riding right now i, I can't disagree with that one the public's on the 9, 10, 11. And again, I think the 10 and 11 were the 10 and 11 are going to end up being the post time favorites here, according to the will pays. Yep. Marla's going a $2 exacta box, $12 bet, four nine ten. I like that bet a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Very solid bet. Here goes Dennis. By the way, I got the trifecta at Charlestown, paid 27 bucks. So see you leave Charlestown. Things get better. Okay. Okay. Good grammar, Dennis. You got to you gotta start using some <laughs> punctuation, man. Uh, we left. Do we win at Charlestown? We we have a good history at Charlestown, right? We Sean? have a very good history at Charlestown. Well, and then we got you know, that as your track, Turfway Park, which is absolute AIDS, the AIDS virus of horse racing. Right? Sorry. Now, interesting. Sorry, if, if we're looking for an interesting kind of play here, right? The last time it, it, it was a mile and 70th, the last time in the slot that the one ran a good race was was in the slot was at Penn National, but it was now it was two years ago, so you can't. It was just, I was just wondering why some people were playing the one, you know. Uh, and uh, obviously, the uh, shoddy with an interesting, interesting comment. Never bet pen before. I don't know many of the jocks. I don't think a lot of us have bet pen much. No, I don't bet it. No, no. Uh, here and there, right. maybe maybe throw together yeah. a quick stable dual lineup or something. But it yeah, is exactly, never my yeah. focus. So we're all on board here, learning together. Uh, you do that, that, recognize a few names in the in the jockey yeah. crop here, but it's right. not. And the fun the fun thing is too is I always say this to everybody: if you play the same golf course every single time. Right, you get to know that golf course, but when you play another golf course, you or, or you're, you're not going to know it because you're so used to one. It's good to give a little challenge, a little different, a little different pace, it, especially to a track that you're not as familiar with. But you know, it's a always a great time to kind of venture out. So it's a good challenge. Couldn't agree more. As long as it's not Turfway Park. Yeah. <laughs> Shotty's got the dartboard comment. Let me if you haven't if you didn't tune in uh, last week. Here's the actual live footage coming out of Turfway Park earlier today. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So at least live Penn footage. National has some semblance of sense happening they here do. so far. They do. And yeah, there's yep. always bombs at every track, but yep. Turfway, yep. I just, and I know, our, I mean, you should be able our to. Our four, by the way, we are moving the needle is down to nine to one with 10 minutes to go. All right. The only thing scare me about this betting that box, just like Marla had, is the 11 a little bit here. I'm looking closer at yep. the 11. Yep. Seems to be taking a lot of money. So let me take a yep. look. Yeah, Town Jack. Yeah. Is that his one? It's a high pace. It's close okay. on speed. Yeah, Emilio Flores is really well. Jackie tra uh, right. Trainer combo is good. Yep. Eleven is definitely in the mix. Definitely the group that like you faced last time. Like this, John, if the four stays up like this, don't we just bet the four and, and not worry about what's underneath? I think so. I mean, I, I, I couldn't agree. I mean, maybe that. one play show, maybe one play yeah, something like that. One play show, yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. Because even the show, let's see what the pools look like on this. Four, <clears> four stays at nine to one. Good lord. Of course, the pools are unavailable. Eleven was ridden by one of my favorite ladies, Jackie Davis. The fairgrounds. 
The one thing that that like I know the the eleven faced better last time. O for eleven in the wet just doesn't like to win. You know, is is always there, always close, but just doesn't seem to want to get up on top. May have found the right may have found the right group to, to meet here, but you know, but the yeah, that's that's why nobody's betting the four. His his last results in the same in the same um, purse range: fourth out of seven, fourth out of eight, fifth out of six, yeah. or, or yeah, fifth out of six, and then fifth out of fifth. He's not proven that he can win, but this is the a one weak, thing. Weak yeah, the field. one thing I do like about that four though is that is that his his last race in the slot. Allowance 29 non winners, you know, that was a pretty solid group there against Equal Justice, you know, and Robbie's Ransom, who were not too bad uh, mid Atlantic horses, you know. So at least he showed a, a, he did quit, but I mean, versus that group, my God, you know, <laughs> I would, yeah. I, any of these horses I think would fade versus that group, you know, so. And give it a gun to my head. I'm I'm also I think I like the 10 better than the 11 after a closer look. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's your your call, my man. The nine is gonna be up on the pace hard. So that's always a, a threat. Mm. What's the 10 at right now? Yeah. 10 is the fa uh three to one. Eleven's actually now the favorite at two to one, which Okay. According to the will pays on the uh, pick threes daily double. Yeah, definitely. Those two are going to be the, the betting choice. Four is going to yeah. be like the fifth choice, which. The nines at five to two. Yeah. The nines at five to two. Keeping the pace. Danny the, Velasquez. The, uh, you know, maybe I'd. Whoa. Look at the will pays and the exact is with the four on top guy. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's looking pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah. God. Wow. Hello. If we're right with that four on top, maybe even a uh, exact a key box. Yeah. yeah. If the yeah. four gets involved, we just need the four to be involved. Yeah, exactly. Or you go four with the nine, ten, eleven trifecta key box. Uh, yeah. I don't know. You see anything outside? Obviously, four, nine, ten, eleven. I think everybody is on board with in the chat. Yeah, I, I, I don't, don't really see any other. other uh, I'm just trying to look in terms of you know. Um, Shoddy likes sixty nine. Uh, take what you will uh, will out of that one there. Yeah. Uh, Marla likes eleven seven. Eleven seven. Okay. Trusty in place on the two and the seven. Which are okay. forty to one currently and eight to one. So your guy is going, baby. You said it. He just needs to win once in a while. Yep. Yeah. Uh, definitely ran it in in the wet. This this seven in terms of like Josselmeyer and Moonstepper, two of his best races in the last two years have been both on the pen slot. So that was for his ten five and ten. You know, and he hasn't run like a terrible race. You know. Uh, versus this group. So I could definitely see um, interesting that Salgado and that uh, A-Rod jumps. Uh, Sean dropped out for some reason, so I'll pick it up. I don't know where he was going, but uh, we have, let me see, I'm going to share my screen real quick. I like this. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm really looking at the four, especially at the price he's at. And let me see here. Let's get you guys something useful here. The four scores out really well on this race for us. Uh, there, Sean's back. All of a sudden, we dropped out on me. I was trying to I was trying to show some people some uh, power <laughs> figures here, but we're running out of time. Actually, we'll show those for the next race. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Let's run it back here. Uh, let's see. Let's let's see what the chat's got going. Marla likes the eleven four now. Wow, oh, four just got bet down to four to one. We're moving the needle. Yep, so we, we're moving the needle. That may just be our exactly. Shoddy's on the eleven, but it is the favorite. But it's still a three to one price. It's not a terrible. Yeah, still a very nice price. Yeah, yeah. 
Josh, what about the seven best off track form last last time horse won with the same rider tonight? The seven, yes. The seven is uh yeah. I mean, to be quite honest with you, once for me, once you get past four, nine, ten, I think eleven, one, and seven are all pretty close. And I think they're they're live. I mean, this there's a reason why this is a pretty balanced yeah. field for betting. The, basically, guys, what the double is showing you is that this there is no confidence on a single horse in the in, in, in this. In the, they're all they're all pretty uh, close to each other, you know, which is a which is indication that some people obviously think this is a wide open. I mean, eight, nine, 14, 12, 17, 20. I mean, you know, that's that that's that's all to have that many horses within that close range proximity shows the the depth in, of this race in terms of people thinking you know. keep each and every stride checking in he likes the nine in the front all right nine is right in the mix again for us or for me personally it's four nine ten eleven on yep. the outside looking in i have the one who's definitely live as well as a seven what's yeah tell me your top four in order sean real quick because we're running out of time three minutes to post okay i am Four, ten, one, nine. So you're fading the eleven. Eleven. Um, oh, Town Jack. Yeah, he just doesn't seem to. He could be in the at the end of it. But I just don't like him on the win side because he just seems yep. to. He always now comes in. He, shifted to the 10. We are all over the place, baby. Yep. All right. Let's keep it safe for the kids okay. here. We're going to do a. Damn, the 11 and the 1 I have so close as that outside yeah. looking in. And you like the one better than the 11. I like the 11 slight. I mean, just slight, they're yeah, almost the yeah. Same. No, no, and it can definitely get in, in the picture, no doubt about it. So, because I can't choose between them, I think I'm going to do a two dollar exacta box four, nine, ten. Yeah, it absolutely leave, did, Ryan. By the way, the leave off the uh, the one or 11 could burn us, but hey, I mean, how deep can you go? Where do you or, just go across in your four? What's up? Your your four looks incredible on the track. My or our four looks incredible on the track. All right, let's see. <laughs> the four, if the four gets involved, I, actually, I'm shifting gears. We're doing this different. Okay. <laughs> exact a key box four. Trying to get a total cost here. One, seven, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's a ten dollar bet. That's exactly yep. what I was doing. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be the like it. I'll type it in real quick. It's gonna be uh close be I don't know if yep. they're getting close to uh it's very solid. So the big risk here is that the four actually gets involved, but it's gonna be uh one dollar exact a key box four horse with the one seven nine ten eleven yep ten dollar bet ladies and gentlemen yep uh, out out of the out of our contest i also put a, a couple across on the four five to one <laughs> that's pretty pretty nice price down to four to one now as i speak so that's good for our exacta. And we have uh down to seven to two coming down. On the four? Yep. Hey, we're moving the needle, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're we do. The, the, the cocktail launch moves money. the needle. Late money. We need our buddy Angel Rodriguez, who has done very good for Alicia Perez. Been one of Keith her, likes the one at that price. Agreed, Keith. He's the you know the the one in the 
Yeah. I mean, basically these, the, that's why I want, ended up going deep on this uh, key box is I thought the one eleven and uh 10 and the nine were all close. I like the four best, but let's see what happens here. We're, we're about to go in. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. And they're off. Going for the lead here. The four, uh, and we have the, is that the seven? Dross Moon going out for the lead. We got the 10, Devious Mo right on his outside. We got the fours trying to sneak up in the third, the nine right in the middle, and the 11 right on the outside. We got five horses kind of battling for the lead here. It's the seven, Dross Moon on the lead. We got the 10, uh, Devious Mo right on the outside. The four sitting pretty right in the in the thick of things with these with these guys. We got the nine right on the outside and the eleven. So coming around the oh, far four. turn, it's still seven. Get this four going for us. Come on now, around on the four. stretch they come and down the stretch, and it's still the is it the eleven on top? Four trying to come up the middle here. The eleven. Come down the stretch of seven, still ah, battling four, nine, eight, oh. seven, and out of nowhere yeah. comes the one. It's going to be ten, ten, seven, seven, nine, one, four. Unbelievable! Damn! Every number, every number, <laughs> everything Fernandez. we discussed there happened wrong order again. We we've been all yeah, over it. exactly. Johnny, the Julio hit, Hernandez Johnny show. Is, hit. Let's see what happened. Let's go back on the comments. Shoddy, nice like job. Take credit words do. Let's see. I can't find it. We got so much, which is great. We got a lot of a lot of chat action in here, folks. That's great. Exactly. Throw on what you got here. What do we have? Who who what was the top order here? Top three. Uh 10, 7, and, uh, and, the, and I think the one was trying to fly. I think the one might have got up to third. Scroll yeah. up for Shoddy's exacta. She's all over it, baby. Yep. Yep, Not the she whole, threw in the sixty nine, which I think was a joke. But let's let's find the uh, exactly. We're giving credit where it's due, and if you hit that, that's gonna. What's that paying out here? Ten seven is paying. That's gonna pay that's, fat, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice one for a dollar. Twenty two bucks for a dollar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ten seven, yeah, twenty two bucks for a dollar. I can't find it. Shoddy, I believe you, though. I absolutely have no uh, reason to not believe you. And let's see. Absolutely. I'm, gonna yeah. I'm determined. I love paying credit where it's due. Yep. Uh, absolutely. That's what we do here. And I saw your comment, Shoddy, about do we do this every week? Yes, every Thursday. Every, every Thursday. Every Thursday yep. night, either 7 or 8 o'clock, depending on what track we're looking at. Yep. Yep. Um, bada boom, bada bing. Shoddy, tell us how you bet it. Let us know if you hit. Or how yeah. much you hit for? Paid ten bucks for it, but still okay. So she must have. Uh, uh, she took the ten eleven with the good. Was that a trusty hit? Might have been a trusty hit. You paid ten bucks to get thirty something. That works for me. Yeah, absolutely. Keep, we're we're down now, baby. Sean, now the pressure's starting to mount. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, exactly. You gotta make something it, happen, bro. It is mounting. It is mounting. But we will. Where was the four there, baby? He he was he looked good. I I thought the four. Yeah, I know. He was uh, he was right there in the thick of things and just just stopped right down the down the stretch. I thought I thought he was sitting menacing live there. I thought he was going to take him all over around the far turn, and all of a sudden just didn't. Yeah, when it was time yeah. to go, he decided he was yeah. done going. It was yeah, you know, exactly. It is what it is. Let's yeah. see how we're doing here. Yeah. And by the way, who's uh. Did I get did I get bounced on my pick four? Nope, I survived the pick four. You did, yeah. Yep. Yeah. But you Let's survived. See. He had that yeah. pick four if he's still alive here. Running it back through, going way back. Thanks everybody for the comments. Please keep on yeah, checking. Thank this you guys. Is, this is what makes it fun. I yeah, mean, if absolutely. We're not, yeah, Love if we're not. Uh, if we're not doing the interaction with you guys. It's not fun at all. So no, absolutely. Love having you guys. It's it's awesome having y'all. Here's Justin. Uh, he got bounced in the second leg. There, oh, uh, Justin did not Justin. have the ten. Where is? I thought there was. Here's Andy's two eleven. He got bounced in the second leg. 
So it's, I guess, just me. And in case anybody else is playing the pick four, and, and by the way, it has been chalk fest. I spent chalk twenty fest, bucks on yep. tickets and a seven to five favorite, and then a two to one. So chalk fest. Yep. All right. Uh, Shoddy, so right. I'm a survivor. What is that? Uh, Destiny's Child or something from you know? Show your age, Shoddy. I know I'm old enough to know what that is, but I love it absolutely. Andy was on the 11. Yeah, a lot of us, you know, I like the 11 yeah. too. Damn it, damn it, Sean. Now we got work to do, babe. Yeah, we this do. Yeah, and Carol right now is two to five. Yeah, on the six right now is two to five in the early money. And the two is seven to one. And, and we have 16 bucks left, baby. Yep. Yep. All right. We got to go. Yep. We got to yep. go. We got to yep. go. We got to go. Yep. Thank you, Indy. We're doing it. Shoddy's yep. 27. I think you, you, you're old enough to know uh, Destiny's Child. So absolutely. Yep. Let's go, baby. What are you guys Absolutely. doing? Let's let's get an early glimpse at uh race. Yeah, six. what do we got out there, guys? Yep, yeah. Small Help field, five horse field, right? Yep. Five horse field. Yeah. Can I just tell you, you want to hear how old I am? It is uh 807, and there's two races left, and I just got in a really good mood because I'm like, yes, we're gonna be done by like nine or nine thirty. Because playing those Chuck Town slates until eleven thirty p.m. Yep. I'm too old, bro. I don't <laughs> On a weekend, I'm all in, but man, it, it is a little bit, you know, I'm old, got to wake up in the morning, got to go to work. Yeah. 1130 is a reach for me. So this was the race that I was contemplating this single on with Shardiel or, uh, let me see, a grammar horse, the six, which are going to be the clear cut favorites, I believe. Yes. The six is right now two to five. Three to five. Lil Tony Two Phones. Terrible yep. name, baby. If I could fade that horse just based on the name. Yep. Uh oh, Firsty. How old are you? I'm going to guess. I'm going to take a, a stand here. Firsty knows exactly how old I am. And he's got a big advantage on anybody else in this room yes. on the reason why he knows that age. And that is because, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he graduated. The same class as me. We'll get through it. Mm -hmm. Trusty's 24, guys. Here's the difference. Yep. The young, the young. Trusty star. looks 44. Trusty looks older than me. Yep. Let's get let's do a lineup side by side and see who looks older, Trusty. I'm not 48. I'm old, but not quite that old. Getting there though. Youngster. Marla, don't let don't let Dennis talk trash about a forty eight year old. Listen, exactly. Yep. No, nope. we don't know. He's nope. a kid. Like I said, he he looks forty eight. Right. What's the difference? I am forty eight. So exactly. Age ain't so, nothing but a number. We can we can still look good or feel good. Doesn't matter how old you are. Absolutely. All right, Shoddy coming in early. Next race four six with the three four six. Yeah, uh, exact on the trifecta four six three four six two three four. And Shoddy just got clean on that last one. So let's see what uh what we're doing here. Indy, I am not playing it tough on the four, but this guy with the grammar. Come on, Dennis. Punctuation. I know you're from Kentucky, but we got to tighten this up a little bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, we love you, dude, but a little bit of punctuation for the kids, will you? This is the real talk the fans want from Firsty. That's what I'm trying to bring. I know most people yeah, hate thanks, me. Yeah, thanks, Firsty. Yep. We appreciate you guys for sure. If you don't know me, guys, I actually have a pretty decent heart. I'm just a giant smartass, and I enjoy being a smartass. So if it comes off like a complete asshole, I apologize. I'm not really an asshole. I just like to have fun while I talk, so. Otherwise, this is boring, right? I mean, we can we can listen to X's right. and O's guys all day on uh, TVG right. or wherever else. Most of them have no personality. 
trying to have some personality and get interact with the folks, baby. We're going to make some yep. money. We are down. Sean, what are we doing? Race? We're down. Six, right? Exactly. But is that we're down, but we're getting up. Exactly. So got to get up to get down, as they say. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is that, exactly. that artist? Yeah. Uh -huh. Absolutely. So, okay. So, the, uh oh, here we go. Here comes Colin. You know what? You know where Colin's going to start reaching. Oh, yeah. There you go. I hope we don't have to hear the alarm this week because it is. Colin, been... how are Bruins doing? <laughs> Colin, <laughs> check in with the Bruins is... score for those people who. Pay attention to hockey, which is three people in the whole country. Yep. And Colin and I are two of them. So <laughs> we got to meet the other guy. <laughs> Shoddy, that's it, baby. That's all we're trying to do. Make some friends, have some fun. Yep. Okay. So the three. Hopefully make some money, but we're trying to, uh, you know, meet some new people, have some fun, and uh, make a couple bucks. And it's up to Sean to make us a couple bucks. Look at that Absolutely. Centennial Farms hat. That's a good looking hat, bro. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Looks like 2-0, two nothing. Nothing, according to Kyle. Oh, love it. Bruins. Oh, love it. Quickest team, uh, second quickest ever to 35 wins. And if only uh, so listen, all the Chowds out there are rejoicing. Yes. The Boston Chowds, the Clam Chowder fans the chowder around heads. the nation. Get some lobster. The worst franchise in the history of all sports, the Boston Red Sox. Forget about it. The worst. I hate the Yankees, probably worse than you guys do, but I would wear a Yankees jersey before I would wear a freaking Red Sox. The best moment right. ever in Red Sox history is when Tory Hunter went over that. Stop one. it. You knew it. You knew it. <laughs> now you're just jabbing me. Tory Hunter flipping over the center field wall as Ortiz walks off the Grand Slam against Joaquin Benoit, if you remember. Yep. He's the Joaquin setup, Benoit. Man. Yep. Jesus, worst and moment then, of my life. Sports and then life. pineapple, and then pineapple power from Hawaii hits the, it's the big uh, home run there. Unbelievable, Brutal. shoddy Brutal. coming at me. Be careful. I'll start making fan art. Please do, shoddy. We need <laughs> that, baby. This is what we're doing. I don't care. You make me look ridiculous. Make everybody look ridiculous. There you go. Oh, is this is Gallivant? Gallivant's another one from up there. He is. Yeah. <laughs> I hear his accent. I talked to him last night a little bit. Yep. The child's up here just outnumbering me madly. He's like, he's like he's like right near Suffolk, I think. First he would jump in. He's from Detroit. He could jump yeah, in. Yeah, there and you go. Trash. Exactly. At least my my Lions, honestly, are better than the Patriots, though. So admit it. They, they Detroit were the Lions this year are they better were. than the Patriots. Thanks they, for coming. They are, they are the team to fear soon, man. I'm liking it. I like them in Jacksonville, it. baby. Jacksonville and the Lions. Yeah, through, yeah. Breaking. No, I, I give them all the credit. Mad love there. Colin, I'm late to the party here. Yeah, some fan art. Exactly, yeah. Please, shoddy, bring it on, baby. Car I don't know what kind of art you're doing, but be definitely interested to uh, check it out. So love. Yeah, exactly. Shoot me a direct message in Twitter or wherever, uh, email, whatever. It's all about fun. Absolutely, yep. Trust you. I used to be a Red Sox fan till I went to a bar with a Reds fan, and he said, we suck, but this year we're good. That was just after the COVID, and that was, what are you doing? What? Can somebody read that to me? <laughs> Is that five different thoughts? Oh, I don't one. know. No grammar. Come on, Dennis. <laughs> you got to start posting them. Type a sentence, submit. And then type another what? like if you can't punctuate it, do that. Wow. Okay. But Reds fan, you're okay because it's Cincinnati is pretty close to where you're at. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I love Cincinnati, by the way. It's kind of a cesspool of a city, but I used to drive through there, I 75 from Detroit down to yep. south. Anywhere in the south, you're gonna roll right through Cincinnati. I got one of my best friends lives there. Great town, great college town. All right, here we go. Brock Spence checking in. What's up, Brock? Uh, Atlantic, Atlantic Canada. Has the best lobster. Here we go. Is this another one? Wow. No, no, no. He, 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 he's saying that Atlantic Canada has the best lobster. But I'm going to I'm gonna uh, say San Francisco, maybe? Mm, I don't know. I'm a no. West Coaster. Best Coaster. A lot, lot of jealousy on the Boston lobster, that's for sure. 
Yeah, uh, you guys got good sports teams, and I hate you for it. L O B S T A H, lobster. Is there? I love it. Look at this comment. Ordonez against the A's, baby. That is a legendary moment that nobody who's not at least somewhat engaged in Detroit Tiger fandom. Right. Monster. Maglio Ordonez was a beast for us that year. My, my right, let's slow it down. Story. How much time do we have? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I'm looking right now. We don't um, want to miss. 13 minutes. Six is still getting heavy heavy favoritism. Uh, yeah, two, right now uh, she's uh, oh, she's three to five. She's three to five. Yep. Colin has a cottage in Nova Scotia. What do you guys? What do you guys? He got does. Now? He does have a cottage. In Nova Unbelievable! Scotia. This guy's wealthy. Just a wealthy person. Dennis, you on the bourbon? <laughs> yeah, Dennis, let us know. East Wrecking Crew drunk chat. I wish, baby. I'm on my third beer. I'm getting there. I'm working on it, but I'm going to run out of time tonight. So, uh, Sober, shoddy. Sober. I don't know if I believe that. Brock, born in Halifax. What is that, New Jersey? That's Nova Scotia. <laughs> There's where I'm at. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up 30 miles from, from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, too. And I still Yes, you I, did. I, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Shoddy's on wine o'clock. That's what we're doing. Have some fun. Let loose. Make some money, hopefully. Almost the Justin. weekend. Almost the weekend. Is it? Justin's going to six key all exact, I assume, here. So yeah. Let's that's, take a look at that's that. That's definitely is. my that was she she was my single, you know, like of, of the group, you know. Um, I always have this theory, and then and I, it's, it's proven me well in the past, right? Uh our buddy came up for his one race there earlier, and he won. Ruben, you know, Ruben doesn't usually come to Penn National. He wasn't there to finish fifth, you know. Right, yeah, yeah, he's there. Carol, for the paper, this is Carol's one mount of the night, you know, and she came up from from Laurel. You know what I'm saying? So she's not traveling that that highway. You know, Carol, my my buddies Victor Carrasco, when they when those guys make that trip up, they're not they're not coming up just to say hello to a couple of people, you know? And I do like the fact that that six is, is uh, what do you call it? Came in a close second in the slot to Moon Warrior, who won last night convincingly in the slot at Penn National. So clearly a, a very, and, and, um, and she was right next to it. Neko, who came in third, actually used to be a Centennial Farm source back in the day. So she was actually, <laughs> he was actually facing some interesting horses there. So I, well, I think say this, based on the will yeah. pays, yeah, the six is going to be wildly the favorite here, just yeah. wildly, yeah. not even close. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. the second favoritism will be the two, but yeah, like at least twice the odds. And then uh, four, five, yeah. three, all about the same. So yeah. My question is on the six followed by the two. So I don't know. This is this is a tough race to bet. My question is with the two is that the trainer, and I don't know David Geis, so please excuse me, folks. I don't really know who this guy is, right? And he's, you are a you are a man, you are a man on the year and over two, you know. And now he's bringing a horse from the west coast to the east coast in the slot, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, don't rain so, out there, babe. So, talk about question marks. You know, now the horse did win last time at, at those, you know, and then and then you bring him across the the you know, like if this was a dry track, I would say he'd be a, a very, very solid. And look at his workout 47 at, at you know, his workouts have been solid. You know, it's just the question is, will he take to the wet, you know? And and uh we're looking here. Let's I'm looking that as far as pace goes, I mean the six the six is gonna be close to the front, five and six yep. most likely, which favors the six. Yep. yep. Speed figures, the two and six are close. Actually yep. favors the six a little bit. 
I mean, it's hard to it's hard to fade the six, but I mean, if you're going to, it's going to be the two, which is clearly the second choice. If anybody likes anybody who's not the two or the six, please step up in the chat and say something because we are, I think, at a standstill, aren't we, Sean? Yeah. The other thing we exactly that you have to strongly consider is the Hernandez factor. You know, for cult. You know, the four. and once again, if you look at this four. You'll see that at six furlongs in the slop with Hernandez, he almost got there. I know that was in 21, but that's, but uh, at least, uh, and now he's going, he's doing the, came in third to maiden special at Penn, tried the two turns. Clearly, that is, uh, it ran a good race, got two, you know. Hey, Tom, welcome back. This, now, what is the four's odds here? Because that could the be four, the four is the third choice on my on my uh, according Mr. to our Xavier, numbers here. Yeah, yeah, wasn't interesting. three to one, like three to one, getting some love. Seven minutes to post. Yeah, I mean, again, there's only a five horse field, so how you know? Yeah, it's hard Look to determine how deep you feel, how deep you want to go, whatever. That all bet is only a five dollar or a four dollar exact about uh, exact bet if you do a six overall or a two overall, whatever you're thinking, but. Yeah. Welcome, Cindy. Thanks for joining. Uh, hey, Cindy. Yeah, Justin, double double thinking that uh, six overall because it may not pay enough. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, it really depends on what the six goes off at here. Let's see. Five getting no love right now. Yeah, five just getting hammered. And I'll, I'll tell you what, he's our, he's our last ranked horse out of five. Again, a small field, but. It's not that bad. If you're looking for value, twenty six to one on the five. I don't that, know, though, man. I don't even know if I can short, do that with that, though. I mean, in a short field, he's the slowest. I mean, him and the three. I think him and the three are the only two like insta tosses for me. Uh, yeah, let's exactly. see. SPN. Who owns the two? According to Trusty, we're looking. Dennis has sent that comment forty three times. Yeah, the two. Yeah. David Jacobson. Yeah. Yeah. Our buddy David Jacobson from New York. Ah. And he is Man, David. Shotty Knight. following up with a smart ass comment. Love that. Hell yeah. 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 David Jacobson. Yeah. Cindy says the five. I don't know what that means, Cindy. Does that mean you like the five or you dislike the five? She likes You're the five. The five. 26 to 20. one. What value yeah, in a five are you worth getting? Field, baby. All right, Dennis says a six percent trainer gets David Jacobson own horse makes no sense. Discussion right. worthy. Tom says Geist was a fifteen to twenty percent guy in the early two thousands. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Tom. That's uh, yeah. And the four looks. I agree. The four looks yeah, definitely. I agree. Different. I agree. Looks great on the track too. Yeah. I have it, Sean, for. Is this your race or mine? This mine. is uh okay. So uh, I have a two six. On. I have two six four in that order, which is I think yep. the only shake up is I think uh, the public's on the six two four. But yeah, I'm just gonna go. I don't have a whole lot of interesting facts to add here. Yep, yep. And what is my exact? What is let's see what an exact pace here because I that's I'm kind of strong that one. Let me see here. We got four six. Let's see what is pace, guys. Um, 16 bucks for a box. 16 bucks, nice. And six four is not as what is 12 bucks. 12. 12 so the two box. is the low. Now, this is interesting that the six five exact that pays nine dollars, yep, and the five six pays 14, but the five is the 18 to one. Wow. <laughs> wow yeah and that, there's a lot of people betting five to get second and not necessarily yeah, right. yeah, that, that doesn't say exactly yep yeah and how much how much money do we have left my friend 16 dollars, baby we gotta go we gotta okay go. okay okay i gotta pay my kids i mean they're hungry yeah i guess yeah get yep. those for yep. the week babe yep okay here we go by the way, I want to take a second. Thanks everybody for joining. Another yeah. big crowd every Thursday night. Thank you everybody. Keep getting bigger. You're the best. All the Love chat is fun. 
It's all about the camaraderie for us. Let's do it. Let's see. Shoddy says, at that price of five, you got to give it a look. Agreed for the place. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's it's getting miraculously a lot of money here. Actually, bet down to 14 to one now. Uh, okay. Three minutes to post, Sean. We're going to need yep. some kind of, you know. Yep. Yep. And the two is down this is to two to one now. Is right. Let's see. J let's see what Josh says. Negative trainer change. Peter Miller to David Guest. David Guest isn't he a Hollywood guy? With David Jacobson, <laughs> it would be different if Jack uh, if Jacobson was the trainer. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We're Wait, talking about the two wars, obviously. The two. Now with the full uh, two and the six. Let's see what the balance on the exactors looks like. We got eight. Eight bucks for the two over the six, six over the two, six bucks. They're kind of semi close to neck and neck between the two and yep. the six betting now. What are you guys what are you guys doing? If you if you had to single or, or pick one horse to bet here, what are you doing? If you like somebody outside the two and the yeah. six, who is it? Uh, I think a couple people like the four. Cindy likes the four all. And if you hit that, that's going to pay, I think. That's going to pay nice. Yeah. We'll pay somewhere between 16 and 36 bucks on a dollar. Yeah, absolutely. Josh says the four horse may be sitting closer to pace coming off the layoff. Usually they are a bit more sharp out. Yeah. So this is Sean's call. We're alternating back and forth. We have two minutes to post only yeah. a five horse field. So we got... 16 bucks to make it happen, baby face. Yep. Yep. Okay. I am going to do. Let me see here. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking at what we got here. And I am liking. Okay. I'm liking that. Okay. I am going to go. I'm going to do it. Two dollar exact the box four six. And two across in the four. Two try to get us back up. Try to get us back up to something, you know? Yep. Two dollar four six box exact. Yep. That's yep. a four dollar bet. And then Two across the board on the four, correct? Yep. Yep. And just hope that and just hope the two doesn't do it well. Yep. That's what I'm doing. It's a ten dollar overall bet. Yep. Colin Sheehan yep. says he likes the six four straight. Yep. I like Shot that. On the four. The all right, I like that. Well. Come on, guys. Let's all get it together. I like it. Everybody cuddle up. We are working together. We're gonna try to make some money. Yep. All right, so official bet. Yeah, we're going into the gate. Yeah. They're going in already? Yep, yep, they're going in. And they're off. Huge break for the lead here. We got the two going out for the lead. We got the six right on the outside of the two. And these two are ding-donging with the five right in back, the three right behind them, and the four sitting uh, comfortably last, but only uh, five lengths off the lead. The six continuing to lead on a 22 and 3 eighths uh, pace, a fast pace up front. And it's the six starting to take over on the two down the stretch. Here they come. The two still hanging in there. The three and third. The five and the and the four. You can see them all. But we're coming around the turn. The six starting to pull away from the two. The three, four trying to come up the rail through the middle, through the lane. Here they come. The six is widening with stride. It's four trying to come up the. But it's the three. Oh, we're going to be six, three, four. Unbelievable. And I almost used Tyler. It's going to be six, three, and six, four. But yeah. Rocking the palace with the upset there. Yeah. Man. 
Shoot. So we're going to get a couple bucks Tyler back. All night. I hadn't seen Tyler all night. Ugh. I did not like that, too. Did not like that, too, at all. Well, that's all right, man. We got, we got time. We got one race left. Yep. We're going to turn it into yep. something. Yep. Uh-oh. Yep. Shot, he calling shot what do we have? Uh-oh. Shoddy, her shot again. What would we have? Let's go back. Oh, look at that. Shoddy's going to be on the show next week. Shoddy, shoot me a direct message. You're on the yeah. show next week because you have been hot tonight, and why yeah, not? Yeah, Shoddy's got to come on the show. Yeah. We want the newbies, somebody who's never been in the lounge. Come on. Shoddy had the, what did we, what did we say? Four, six, four, six with the three, four, six, right? Yeah. That checks out on the exacta. Who was third? Wow. Four, six, three, four, six, two, three, four. Look at that. Who's third there? That is great. Okay. It came six, three, four, right? Yep. Yeah. She caught both. Nice work, Shoddy. Shoddy's the rock star of the show so far tonight. Absolutely. Shoddy is just, that is definitely delicious. Well done. I survived. It. Dude, this pick four is pathetic. I survived the third leg of the pick four, but it is just. I know. Not going to work out well unless I get a bomb in the on the river here. And I do have, yeah. I do have five horses in the last race here for my uh, pick four. On a twenty dollar ticket, so I, I, I could do all right, but see, this is this is what I did not like about the why mm -hmm. I did not use the three, right? I know it'd be better than losing, but the the exact it was only eleven twenty. I think that should have been higher, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's not yeah. good at all. That's I'd not good at all. When that was it was my fourth out of five choice. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I loved about that six was that Carol is that that's my theory, you know, that Carol's coming up for the, you know, I almost put I almost put 15 to win on her, but I'm like, I'm not better at four bucks. But but you know, <laughs> but but the um what do you call it? When she's coming up to to ride and that horse, especially if you if you can know like that horse, boy, does that make Moon Warrior look even better last night? You know, with that her winning again, you know? So Lily two phones. Here's my Twitter handle for those folks. Uh, yeah. Looking, if you have any questions on the tour de force or anything else, I'll I'll drop it right here real quick while we're. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a lull. Yep. Yep. And although it looks incorrect, that is actually correct. It is trust T profits. There's not enough. Uh, Characters for the trust up profit, so yeah, trust right, yeah, profit. yeah, and uh, yeah, just send me a message, we'll do it. And that goes for any of the uh, tour de force questions, too, because that that is definitely yeah. closing tonight. I extended yeah. it against my better judgment, but yeah, cool. We are down to one race, ladies and gentlemen, and it's race seven, Penn National. Shoot me a message, we'll talk. After we get off here, which is just about a half hour away, get everybody. Shoddy calls, yeah, you know, which is excellent. I had a lot of followers going on on uh, my El Hombre account, and then Twitter decided to shadow ban me or whatever they did because yes. I shared. And this is the dumbest reason to ever get. And I'm not like a conspiracy theory guy at all, but yeah, yeah. Um, all I did was somebody posted something funny. I can't remember if it was a Facebook post or Twitter or whatever. And sure. I took the uh, I took a screenshot of something that I thought was funny. I think it was an NBA meme or something. And I posted yeah. it, and they were like, "You didn't own that content, so you're banned or whatever." And I, I even went through the, like the proper steps to try to uh, go against. You know, yeah, yeah. And it was like, really? Out of all the shit people say on Twitter, you're banning me because like I guess I stole content. Technically, I stole content from somebody because I took their picture, or th their meme or whatever. But I was just trying to be funny. There was absolutely no, uh, you know, malice about what I was doing. I was yeah. trying to make some people laugh, and anyway, they banned me. So, there's my high horse about Twitter. So, anyhow, let's go, baby. We got one race left. We have eight dollars, Sean. Yeah, this is yeah. not good. Not good. Nope. And I'm going to tell you what. I, I think we are not going to try to win. 
a thousand dollars out of eight bucks because I think that's nope, a suicide nope, mission. Nope. We're gonna nope. try to uh, make the best we can out of eight bucks. I agree. I agree. Yeah. First, he checking in as the self-appointed trust the prophets NBA loudmouth. Oh, yes, like he does. Okay. He does chip in with some NBA plays every week, which we appreciate. He does. Yep. 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 Absolutely. That's minus three over the Suns. I'm assuming that it has not gone off yet. Get in, and if we lose, blame the profits. And again, on Twitter, at Dennis underscore Trusty, if you're betting the NBA tonight, yes. he will also uh, pay you back in spades. 50% bonus. Yes. Any amount of money you lose today in gambling, Dennis underscore Trusty. All right, moving along. Race seven, last one of the night. This is a one-mile claimer. And this is a little more of a full field, right? This is eight horses, yeah. I think. Yep. And we are – let's take a look at my will page for the pick four, and I'm just going to throw up as soon as these pop up. Not going to be happy with these, but we're going to give it a shot. Yo, in – in Apva, uh, the Twitter handle that I just posted here, go ahead and send that a direct message or just go search for that on Twitter yep. and you will find all the links you need. If you still need help after that, if you can't figure it out, shoot me a direct message on Twitter and we will get you figured out as soon as we get off of uh, this live, which is last race in a half, uh, 20 minutes. So yep, about a half hour from now, you will hear back from me. Just shoot me a, a direct message. Appreciate yep. all of it, baby. We're going to 120, 120 or so uh, entries. The biggest by far, season five. Get in, make a name for yourself in the Love industry. It. I guarantee you, whoever Love wins this tournament, by the way, will probably sell more as it. If you if you want to sell picks, if that's your side gig or whatever you're doing, yeah, a great start to that is a bragging right that you just beat. You know, a hundred plus of the the better Twitter nation handicappers. Yeah, absolutely. Firsty checking in. I'm gonna firstly, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't bet the NBA much. If you're still are you still in Michigan? Comment on that. If you're still in Michigan, yep. uh, I can't bet them down here, baby. I'm in the I'm in the uh the great southeast. I can't mm. bet on sports down here legally. So what I will do is I'll send you a Venmo and you can bet that for me. And I'm you know, I'll collect later. I I I have to say again, I'm so out of my element right now. It's 838. And we're at the last it. baby. That's it, baby. I'm this, pumped this, for it. This is I'm pumped for it. We can go to bed. We can get get a reasonable amount of sleep for for us old folks, you know. <laughs> this is uncharted charted territory right here. You're very welcome. Right. We appreciate the uh patronage. We appreciate everybody on in the uh chat. Mike's Fueled up. Ready. I don't know what that means, Mike, but yeah, come on, baby. Let's go. We have race seven. I'm going to take a, a little boys break here. Sean, yep. you're going to be solo mission. So yeah, I can talk I hope, to people. I hope yeah. you prepared a uh, novel to read to the folks here. I did. Yep. Absolutely. I'll be back in two minutes. Exactly. All right, guys. Yep. So let us know who you're, who you're liking here for sure. Exactly. Um, in this last race, I'll do a little talking here and I apologize. My screen is a little off, so I can't see the comments tonight. So I, I, I apologize about that. Um, don't know why that is, but uh, we will we will progress anyways. Um, and I definitely want to hear who you guys are picking because it's always a very important important uh, part of our show always. But um, yeah, so this last race is a very interesting one. Um, not particularly um, full of that. At my first pick was the nine Hidden Springs Tyler Connor. Um, Ran a very solid, solid 5,000 at Delaware. Um, and Manny Rowland was on that day. And uh, Tyler uh, jumping on, uh, ran against much better in a, an allowance where he really didn't uh, run well, but uh, ran uh, great in a maiden 10. I think that's where he belongs. The six, full of attitude. Gilberto Zerpa brought this horse up from Gulfstream and in November and was heavily bet and just did not run uh, a step. Um, takes the blinkers off. He actually owns this horse, which I think is interesting. So let me try to get some odds here for you guys. See if I can 
bring this up here and see what I can do here for you. I, can, I wish I could see your guys' comments tonight. Usually I can, and tonight I can't. I greatly apologize because you guys are always so awesome, you know, um, fortunately. But um, let me see if I can bring it up here. Let's see if I can do that here. Okay. Here All right, sorry about that, Sean. No, there we go. Be All right. And I actually have the comments up now. My comments were, were not on, but now I have the comments. So, so there we go. So, and thank you, Firsty, for that, man. Exactly. So I was just kind of going through, and now I can see the comments from people, which is great. I was, for some reason, my we, we get a lot of rain up here. So some sometimes we're. I, I was nine. That Boston area. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. As long as it doesn't turn into snow, which it looks like it could tomorrow, but. It's you want some insight right. on this last race because there's eight horses, I think, live, right? Um, that are yep. still, yeah, yep, there are. According to my will pays on my pick four, yeah, six is wildly the favorite, yeah, which is also wildly our favorite according to our uh capping numbers, yeah. The second favorite, according to the will pays and the pick four, is the nine. Yeah, Hidden Springs, yep, Tyler, uh, yep. which we have. I actually don't love Hidden Springs as much as the the morning line, but uh, we're actually is my, is it my call in the last race? It's your call. Yes, it is, sir. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you for assistance on the uh, the final call here, but yeah, uh, go ahead and give your opinion on this. Give me the first uh, your top four because I think I might be a little bit different than at least the public here. Yeah. Okay. Well, my first pick was the nine, um, Hidden Springs. And the reason I, I did like that horse is that ran a, a solid mile and 16th at, at a, a, a 10,000, goes back to six furlongs in allowance 7,500, which was much tougher than this group. Really didn't belong in that group. Probably Fennec is probably trying to see what type of horse they had after that. And showed nothing you know but i think that group was much stronger than this group um interesting you look at this horse at delaware and the mud um maddie roland was on that day and she uh stumbled at the start but was gaining with each and every stride at the end so clearly the mud uh angle being out of Tappet and out of a royal academy definitely the mud should not be a problem and you get Tyler Connor, my boy, who just won the last race, uh, came in second in the last race, and interestingly, was kind of hanging around for these last two mounts. And uh, uh, since coming back from a concussion, um, he's he's uh, he won a couple. It was he four, five, and one out of twenty-two mounts. So I, I like that. The six, Gilberto Zerpa owns and trains the horse. Brought him up from Gulfstream, uh, four and a half furlong race. They bet him, just didn't show really anything. But the blinkers come off tonight. And uh, interesting, he brought him to Pilmaco at, 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 to, at back and has been working some pretty solid, steady work. So I, I definitely think it, it's 9 6 and then everybody else. All right, I'm taking that in. I'm taking it in. I have just uh, off the, the numbers without digging too deep yet. I have it six four eight nine. Six four eight nine. Uh, okay. Julio Hernandez. The six. Let's see. The six is going to be. Let's see. Uh, over the last three races, the best speed figures, average wise. Um, but I don't think it's a down. I don't think it deserves that this type of favoritism and i don't I, I don't i actually according to the will pays the six is going to be that type of favoritism which is surprising yeah uh four to one morning line seems more reasonable but at six to five right now currently with 14 minutes i don't see that at all i will fade that horse if it's if it's anywhere near that but uh, again yeah. the this horse is getting twice the betting volume of any other horse at least double um, the six favored by the, he's probably going to be even money or less, uh, yep. full of attitude. This six based on the will pays in the pick four, which is usually pretty accurate. Um, but the nine is second choice. You're, you're on the nine. You like the nine. Yeah. Yeah. I did like his, his race at Delaware park in the mud versus this level. 
and you do and you do get Tyler, you know, who's who's, who's a very good uh, rider here. So I did like that switch. I thought that was a. Where you at on the style. four? I like the four a little bit more than I think most people do here so far. Yeah, fueled up Leonardo Carujo. He uh, Carujo rides really well for Moreno. So exactly three out of seven. Fastest, fastest speed figure last time out. I know it's yeah. different conditions. Yeah. Um, at six to one, five to one morning, getting bet up to six to one so far. So not a lot of public respect so far. Mm. In the um, will pays reflect that too. Yeah. Will pays he's getting like five to one payout compared to the six. Yep. Which I think is about where he's going to be is about five to one. I think the yeah. six horse is going to end up being around even money, and the nine is going to be around two to one, yep. just based on the will pays. Um, hmm. Again, we have eight bucks left. We're trying to make something here. Where's everybody at? Cindy, yeah, yeah, in with yeah. a 26419. Now, how hmm. do I bet it? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that that is a great question, Cindy. <laughs> and Cindy, if you've been if you are tuned in, we have been all over these bets all night, but we bet them wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, we've had every horse. It's been frustrating. We've had good lord, yeah. you know. And we zigged, not, they zagged, you know. You yeah, know yeah. And often when you don't know a track, like exactly that, you don't often bet. You know what I'm saying? It's sometimes exactly those little things, the little details that just maybe you miss on this thing can be so key. You know, it really can. Shoddy looking at a six nine box. Shoddy, I think you're in the gutter here. I'm, I'm just <laughs> guessing. Is there even okay? It's not. It's not actually that far out of the realm here on this. No, one. no, it's, it's a great actually make a lot of sense. Sense. very solid bet. Exactly. Maybe my accusations were incorrect. Tyler Connor, can he do it again? He's. I do like the nine underneath. Yeah. 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 Damn it. Let's start looking at some uh, probables on the exact payouts here because I like the four a little bit more than everybody else does. Yeah. 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 Four six. Four six would pay a seventeen dollar exact. A six four pays eleven. Hmm. So if you heap it on that thing, just those two, four, yeah. six on top. Yeah. Right? And that bad. would that would get us back into business. That would. Now yeah. if you introduce the what's the eight, eight and nine at right now here? The eight is eight to one. I, I kind of like the eight a little bit more than everybody else, too. I think. Yeah. Bohemia babe. Where are you at on the eight? Yeah, I mean, obviously to be honest, I'm not trying to yeah, it, no, be up I, on I, the pace. This is one of those, it, you know, if it sounds weird, like the, like Barry, what do you, you know, Barry Spears, what are you doing in this race? You know, like it kind of, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. and then, uh, and then I just, I mean, obviously the, the yeah, I, I Speed figure would be wise, the horse deserves to be out in the parking lot to be yeah, honest. That, that would be a stretch for me. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, Zach, and you gotta, I mean, Hernandez interesting, uh, Wrote it at the parks and then takes it again, you know. <laughs> so I guess if you're a Hernandez fan, any Hernandez fan would be. But um, yeah, that would any, be a stretch, any, any especially, Hernandez especially, especially when the trainer is one for sixty-eight. I generally don't like to like to do that, you know. I do have the uh, the will pays there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the eight yeah. is like one hundred and fifty something dollars on that 20 dollar pick four so i'm actually rooting for andy hernandez yeah no that would be that would, exactly um, exactly i don't know why i even include him but but that is oh hey, baby yeah. what do we have we have nine minutes to post got a little yep. time yep. shoddy i minutes. see my 14 to 16 dollar ticket i don't know what that means well what we have you already posted i apologize if you did fall on behind in the chat again yeah okay. dennis has the exact a two nine ten with the two six nine ten Okay. Okay. Look at the ten here for a little. That makes a little day. sense. You're getting some. You're definitely getting some prices there. Yeah. I don't yeah. like leaving the six off top though, babe. I, I think the six is, and the four. I, I mean, he's leaving the four out completely. Can't agree oh, with that. Salvaggio coming in. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> 
the Avaggio won last night with Tyler on Moonrunner. Um, so he's clearly trying to bring this horse. It, wow. Showed nothing in the with Barboza showed, you know, interesting. Let's see how these will pays are looking now. The yeah. probables, rather. Does have speed. All right, so four six. Here's an interesting play. What's that? Andy okay. says very hard to see anybody beating the nine. Okay. Andy, I'm listening. I like the nine a little bit too. Probably not as much as you do, but why? Convince me. Yeah. Because we have. I, uh, we. I have will say this about the nine in my in in my opinion. Okay, that group clearly Feneca was trying to see what they had in that last race versus allowing seventy five hundred that they really did not belong in, you know, and got their answer very sharply, you know, just stopped. You know, and uh, I'm trying to see the interesting works out of Fairhill, you know, um, on the poly track, which I find interesting. Andy also throws in nine, ten, ten dollar exacta box. Ooh, okay, that will pay you, sir. If you get that, yeah, I do like I don't, I don't see it in the 10. I'm looking closer now. I don't see it in the 10. Not terrible. I mean, he's not. He he could make the board. I think he can make the board. I don't see it in the exacta, but yeah, yeah. I've yeah, been wrong definitely, before. Definitely, yeah. Definitely can make the board. Yeah. Shoddy wanted to throw the 10 in second, but had to cheapen the ticket. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Somebody commit, baby. Somebody commit. We have six minutes to post. We have eight dollars yep. to make something out of. Yep. Man. Let's see. Six is at sitting at three to two right now. Live betting. Yep. Uh, the four is six to one. They, they're, they're kind of hovering around the same area as yep. they were. Eight is eight to one. Nine is five to two. Yep. Oh man. And nine's five to two for sure. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Fueled up definitely ran against better, you know. This is definitely a group where you know. Yeah, I like I like four, especially at a price. If he's, damn it, post your picks, baby. We are out of time. Yeah. This is the last race. We are at yeah. The four five and the minutes. nine are the four and the nine are yeah. Yeah, what's the four nine looking like as far as uh? Because they could go to the lead, they could go to the lead and just not look back if the two of them just, you know. Yep, and I, I'm not interested in betting the six at that price. No, yeah. He no. Very, very well could win, but not at nine to five for me. Yeah, that, that, that's what I, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously the way Hernandez is riding, you know, you have to. So four, four nine will pay nineteen bucks. And nine yeah. four will pay 34, uh, 20 bucks. Sorry, hmm. Tom likes the 10. Man, a couple people have mentioned the 10. Indy mentioned the 10. Yeah, the one thing I, I, it, that I always question about is he's doing two things that they've never done which is run at pen and two turns. I can run, you know, in, in terms of, uh, well, a seven furlongs at parks, is that two turns? I'm trying to think. No, that's the shoot. Yeah, that's the shoot. So, so, um, so this is the first time two turns. That's the, but, but Tom is right. That the first time on the outside could do, yeah, exactly. And Barbosa stays with him, which I find interesting. Cindy, is that an exacta? Jeez. That's interesting. If that was an exacta key box, that'd be our eight dollar bet. Two with the four, eight, nine, ten, fading the favorite. 
and the four, eight, nine, ten, or what everybody's talking about here, right? Because I think yeah. I, I don't see anybody real high on the six, which is the consensus favorite right now. So yeah, yeah. I don't either. Race strengths for the nine are, are best amongst the field throughout the last race for the nine and ten. One of my fades was next up the maiden one. Dennis Trusty throwing turf way. Nobody cares. All right. Three minutes to post. Yeah. Convince me somebody quick because I like with eight bucks. This means I can do a. I actually have eight and some change. I, I wish I could do a try a nine dollar bet. Can I reach for a nine dollar bet? Yeah. I think that's fair, right? I got eight. I, I got that eight, is fair. Eight, Absolutely. Eight, Yep, absolutely. All right. I'm doing it. I am doing a trifecta. Yep. And I'm doing a key box. Yep. Man, are we really fading the six completely? Mm, I wouldn't com completely, especially considering that the it is to, is best races have been around two turns. So I wonder if the four and a half is just too darn short for him, you know? Sean, run back your top four for me again, please. Yep. Nine, six, four, ten. And six with, is actually with, up to two to with one. With the two having a legit chance to, if he's the fifth, you know, it's like, you know. Mike's in this 9 4 box. Hmm. Colin likes the two to win. I think the two is going to be, could very well be involved. I don't like him to win, but damn. That Let's would be see. a good, that would be a good exact, though, like a, a key, you know, like with a, you know, like, you know, if you. Go ahead, let you make the bet, Sean. I can't decide, and we're down to one minute. I, I really yeah. Do you like the two? I like the two to be involved. Okay. Yes. I don't think he can win, but I think he could very well be involved. Well, you could. And what do we have? Eight dollars. Yeah, we got eight or nine bucks, something like that. Eight and some. Change. Okay, so we could do two with four, six. Uh. So you're putting the eight on top by himself or a key box? In the two? Yeah. yeah. Up and like up and down for a dollar, you know? I like the I like the four better if we're doing the for doing some kind of box. Okay, let's do the four. Yeah, do the four with the with the two. With the two uh six. And then eight, nine, ten. No, that's ten bucks. Eight, nine, ten would be ten bucks. We well, can reach over by a buck or two, right? Yeah, After. yeah, we can. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. I think I think that's we have to hit this, right? So let me yep. let me punch yep. it in. Yeah. This is a one dollar exacta. Key box. How close are we? We're they're almost going, they're almost all in. Sorry, ten dollar yeah. bet. There you go. Yep, the two six eight nine ten. I like it. There there could be some prices involved, baby. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Colin checking in. Colin like the two four eight box. All right, there you go. The two six one dollar. Good luck, everybody. This is the last one here tonight. Yeah, last race. Everybody hit. Yeah. They're online and they're off. And going for the lead is a mad scramble on the outside. Terrible break for the two. As the nine and the ten. They're racing for the first turn. And it's Bohemian Babe, the eight. On the outside, the nine. Right there, the 10, the 4 sitting comfortably right off them in 4th. 
four eight, seven to four one, one maybe we got got to get them involved yep exactly yep yep the eight going down yeah the quarter 23 and four the four sitting comfortably there in in the in the third spot coming down the it's still the two it's still the yeah, so the two trying to uh, eight, the eight trying to take them wire to wire, the nine sitting right there, the four come, looking sharp here in third. Come on, Leo. For the half and forty-seven, the two trying to steal it here, and the, the eight and the lead, the nine getting very close, but the four trying to stay right with them. Coming down the stretch, the eight still maintaining that lead, the nine having a tough time. Uh, get trying to get the the four ranging up on them both. Come on, with the four. Stretch, they come. There they come. Eight trying to hold on. Nine, nine the outside. Four trying to dig down for one last stride. Ugh, man, we've just been so short. Close. Nine, eight, four. Oh, Jesus. We were so close, man. We had everything tonight. Just the wrong. Ugh. That eight would have paid that eight would have paid fat for my uh pick four, but I know, huh? Damn it. Did you get the pick four? Yeah, I got it. I got a uh, fifty something dollars on a twenty dollar bet though, so not a huge Okay, yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, no. I yeah, the Tyler Tyler looked very strong there. Congrats, anybody who had that. What did it come? Nine, yeah. nine all day, says Andy. Yeah, Barbosa nice pulled job, the 10 Andy. up. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that 10 didn't, yeah. That wasn't good. Nine, eight, four. Man, we were so close tonight. By the way, Tom made a good comment. Beverly Park, is anybody tuning in? What how how what race is that, Tom? Uh if you're tuning in and watching Charlestown, which I know uh Yes, now we're zero minutes to post. One to five. I knew it. Here we go. One to five. Yep. Yep. One to five. Yep. And they're just on their fifth race now. Yeah, we'd be <laughs> up until the crack of dawn, baby. We're too old. I got I got questions to answer on tour de force. A lot of things going on. Yep. Uh Beverly, Beverly Park, Park, a legend. Let's see what happened here. We got how many wins does that horse have? A thousand? Seriously, one, yeah. And one loves to the five. Mud. Loves the mud. See? One to five odds out at Chucktown. Listen, I mean, hey, I'll hang out. If anybody wants to hang out and play Chucktown, I I I'm hoping to go to bed early tonight, but hey. Yeah, yeah, no, no, is that exactly what I'm trying to see here. Be, Dennis, if you want to come on and talk people through Chucktown so I can sit in the background and respond to all these uh, Twitters and emails. Yeah, absolutely. About the tour, because the tour is my focus this week. 25 yeah. wins, Indy says. Absolutely. That's amazing. That is a legend. How old is the horse? 10? Almost 10? Yeah. That thing's out there with geriatric taking pills taking and pills serious. out the starting gate second by neck yeah dude we i mean it, we were knocking on the door terrible not great yeah. oh six they're saying it was only six years old my bad I, yeah yeah maybe i was thinking of uh rated our superstar i don't know yeah, the ten-year-old. Hey, six ten. What's the difference? <laughs> Just kidding. I was. I don't know what I was thinking there. I thought the horse was older than that. Six-year-old gelding, though. So, yeah. Hopefully, they can keep them working till ten. That'd be cool. Yeah, seriously, huh? What's the purse in this thing now? The purse in this twenty-three k, twenty-three k here at Chucktown. Six and a half for a long. Did anybody hit anything there? I, I got like 50 bucks back on that pick four, which is if yep. the eight got on top there, I would have got like 200 or something. But let's see what yeah. it would have been. It don't matter. 
woulda, coulda, shoulda. I would do here. What do you call it? Yeah. Berkeley Park. Interesting. Five. Interesting. Yeah. Obviously, they're trying to beat them. You know. I would do a weird bet here. Appreciate that. that. Did not win a lot of money. Did not profit here tonight, but we uh, no. at least at least uh, kept ourselves out of the deep, deep red. Yeah, What's exactly. Up, yep. Yep. Here in Chucktown, we're at, what do you call it? Yeah, three to five. Yeah, in Beverly Park. Yeah. Your boy, Arnie Boca Chica. Yeah, Arnaldo. Yeah, exactly. This is what uh, Trusty's going after. He's gonna he's gonna bet the four. He's not gonna he's not gonna admit that it's because of Boca Chica, but yeah, right, Zach. Yeah, yeah. guy. And by the way, at, at three to five, Boca Chica and and the the four and the five are both. Oh yeah. If you're gonna bet something, bet one of those thirty six to one. I mean, the last the bottom five horses are are wild there. Uh, yeah. Cindy likes the eight, the wheel four, exact. Four uh, eight. By the way, four eight pays sixteen dollars. That's 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 quite a remarkable pay there. I'm, off it. I'm done. I'm retired. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, me personally, I'm just, yeah, no, yeah. I played Gulfstream today, I played this, yeah. I'll humor everybody else. Good luck if you're playing this um, legendary Beverly Park. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll cover this one exactly. Yeah, I'll cover yeah, we'll this. We'll sign one. off after this. The yep. old guy's yeah. got to get some sleep. Yep. Going into the weekend, big weekend, Lecomte Stakes at Fairgrounds. Yes, huge. And good luck to everybody in the Tour de Force. Exactly. Yeah, and I'll be I'll be tuning in to see how many people we have now. I, I, I'm guessing it's between one fifteen and one twenty entries. I have. Yep. 26 emails that I've not addressed yet. So and yeah. And if, if you do That's watch fun. if you do watch Daily Double, I, I joined Colin this week. Yeah, yeah. Um we, we did it uh last night and we, we did it we said on the on the show we don't know what the weather is gonna be like in, in, at fairgrounds. The 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 eleventh race is it could be on the turf, it could be off the turf, it could be yielding. We we exact we did our picks based on the fast, fast scenario but our picks can be and we're actually going to update them on saturday it could be dramatically different if the weather you know uh, makes it a different 100 100 so, and keep, i think we're going to do a live we're going to do a live reaction video to that if anybody wants to jump in on that too so oh that's awesome oh great there you go sean if on you want to be a part of that i don't know if you'll be uh around your laptop or phone wherever you're broadcasting yeah, yeah. from yeah absolutely yeah it's fun yeah. To, it's fun because like i mean once in a while you see like my favorite one from last year, I think, was the uh, Pacific Classic with Flightline, and it was just like, "What are we watching?" Because that. Oh yeah, well yeah. I knew he Matt, was a freak, Matt, but then he became yeah, what, yeah, exactly, yeah. But then he became a wild freak in that race, and it was like, "Holy shit!" And that yeah. was, I think, it was Matt and Colin did that, and it was just like, "Yes, yeah, Matt and Colin." You could yeah, see that, their their eyes, and these guys have been watching a hundred yeah. horse races per year, hundred horse races per week for a hundred years, and you see something like that, it's like, dude, this is a freak show. Yeah. At, at Chucktown, I just did a two dollar exact the box eight three and eight four. Eight three and eight four boxes. Yeah. Let's get Justin Lou J Lou up there. Yeah, J Lou. Yep. He's 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 three for three in the money for for uh, Norman Cash. So and I'm sitting here going, man, I thought this race was I thought it was post time, and then I remembered it was Chucktown. Yeah, exactly. and it has been yeah. literally ten minutes since post time. I know exactly. Yeah, exactly. And with all the clout and power that El Hombre's cocktail lounge brings, you would think that I could uh, move the needle on getting Chuck Town to obey post times a little bit better, but they, they yeah. they're not listening, folks. No, they're they're, they're their own force. Uh oh, Colin talking trash to Sean here. Only losers, only loser guests on doubling down. Oh, well, that was before That's me. Just, first of all, it's wrong. Yeah, Show right, the graphic. I, right. I'm yeah, I'm one for one, or maybe two for two. I don't know, but 
he says, no offense, Sean. First he rips your heart out, and then he says, no yeah, offense. Yeah, exactly. Me and Banjo. Exactly. Yeah, stand-up guy. Real good hey, guy. Did you, did you see, by the way, Ombre, that Bango is running in the 11th race? If if uh, So, of course, we know. Oh, uh, at is. Fairgrounds? <laughs> Bang, the alarm Bango, would have been yeah. going off if I was on that. Bango, Bango is Banjo's cousin. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Amazing. Colin, yeah. this is why I won't be on your show ever again. How far, Colin, if you could throw in the comments, how far down is Trusty? <laughs> is he one of the, I know, uh, first of all, Vinny doesn't count because Vinny's been on like 10 times. So his negative 50 bucks being on 10 times is really only like negative five bucks a time. Trusty, yeah. you need to have the negative per uh, per appearance average. <laughs> that's how you. Uh, that's how you would get the real. Yeah, real facts. My dollar double was twenty four dollars, so I, <laughs> I'm open for. <laughs> really on uh, this uh, fairgrounds. Yeah, ten and eleven. Yeah, what race is uh, LeCompte? It's the fourteenth. Yeah, it's not even in it. Then why'd you guys yeah. not do that? I'm just curious. Um, the LeCompte. Yeah. For a double, we didn't do the 12 because we figured that uh, what's your name's chop chop's gonna be like two oh, to five, yeah. three to five versus that group. That makes sense. All right, they're off at Chucktown finally. Yeah, right? they're off at Chucktown. Beverly's sitting third. That's the numbers got the no, yep. Yeah. Beverly's on the outside. Beverly Park right there. Can she get home? Positive Phil coming. It's the Anthony Ferrier combination. Boca Chica nowhere to be found. Arnie. That is just a mud pit there too, huh? That is. And look at Beverly Park just abortion clinicking the field. Look at this. The just, one Aaron's one tap. Tap. Come up Andy for Rangu getting up there. Six Ram key one. up for second. Yeah. yeah. And look at I believe that Cindy might have hit that. Two dollar exact to wheel eight with the one. Look at that, Cindy. Nice job. Congrats. Beautiful. Indy, Indy, said, Indy said he had it, too. Let's see. Indy said he had the 8-1, one, baby. 8-1. Go. Nice job, Indy. Let's run it back. Um, again, not doubting anybody. I want to give the clout where, where, where it's yeah. due here, yeah. when they call it. I faded. One in the four of the longs. Hey, we believe you, Andy. 8-1. Yeah, nice What's job, that going to pay? Baby. I'm curious on that. Uh, Exact on the eight one looks like a 12 bucks, 12 bucks on a dollar. So, not bad, very solid play. Keith, each and every stride checking in. Hopefully, you can join us next week again. Keith, love yeah. having you on. Trusty yeah. said 12 for a buck, exactly. All right, Sean, we're done, babe. Yeah, we're done, buddy. Oh, it yep. early. It's nine fifteen, man. Yep. We can actually yep. like uh, take care of a little get a business. Good night's sleep, exactly. Yeah, and get ready for the tour, the force. Yeah, we'll we'll have a lot more to talk about next week as we have, yes, a hundred to one hundred and twenty of the best cappers around competing, yep. and we'll have lots of s s talking to do and uh, bragging rights yep. and everything else. So, yep. Last comment here. Now we get to enjoy Lynn Cash wel welcoming Beverly Park back to the winner's circle. Exactly, Tom. That's that's historical. We love that's it. We what love it's to see all it. About, man. That's what it's all about. This is what I have to look forward to after we sign off. Oh boy. 94 <laughs> from Dennis Trusty. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We're doing it again yep. every Thursday Thank night. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Indy. Appreciate the uh, you know the advice throughout. Sounds yeah, like a few you did Andy. better than us. Yeah, and uh, uh, the star of the night definitely goes to a uh, wow, what a 
Uh, shoddy. That, shoddy, shoddy, yeah, shoddy, was, shoddy was on fire. Always at least two or three of those races that we were we were knocking on the door, but she actually had it right. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. So hell yeah. All right, Thanks, guys. Everybody. Thank you so much as always. And good luck Peace this out. weekend. Peace out, yes, guys. you have to look out.